Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Seven Days to Die. I'm paused right here because as soon as I unpause, something terrible is gonna happen, but we'll get to that in a moment. First of all, thank you guys so much for the support on the first episode. If you wanna watch that first episode, I'll link it over in the top right. In that episode, I asked you guys if you wanted to see this become a series, and that video has become my most commented video in a very long time. So here we are making it a series, and I'm super happy about that because I love sharing these games with you guys. It's way more fun sharing it than playing it by myself. Self. Now, in that first episode, we survived our first seven days. We survived our first blood moon. It's actually still going right now. That's the terrible thing that's going to happen. I thought it was over. Apparently, there's still a wave happening. I'm going to have to run back into the house as soon as I unpause this. But in this episode, we're going to first of all finish the mess here that I got myself into. And then we're going to be exploring around, hopefully finding a permanent residence where we can stay and build up a proper base. And it's going to be a ton of fun. Thank you guys so much. Let's hop in. First of all, uh... You can hear the music, it's still going. I'm gonna run back into the house. I don't know how that happened. I don't even have any defenses. Do I still have this? Okay, I still have this. I'm gonna put this up. This is the base that I built. How the frick are they still here? Uh, hello everyone. I think this is because I paused. Or maybe they just respawned. There they are. Hello, friends. So I am running a club build. I have a baseball bat that basically one-shots any and all zombies. The settings of this playthrough are 30 minute days, really giant blood moons. Like uh, there are 64 zombies in a single blood moon uh, active. Uh, I'm also hurt right now because I came out of a blood moon. Look at that 7,000 experience. I'm leveling up like crazy. I love this Batman. We found it uh, in the last episode. We uh, actually did really, really well. We died a single time, which was uh, in a situation that I got myself into because I went to the snow biome like an idiot, which is like one of the hardest biomes in the game. And in that biome, I got myself like swarmed by a bunch of radiated zombies and they killed me. So yeah, that was totally on me, totally my fault. But we're gonna try and die as little as possible. I'm gonna try and die not at all in this ep or in this entire episode, but you never know how that goes. All right. Thank you very much, zombies. Uh, one sec. There you go. Now I'm in the middle of the health bar. Okay, I've been hit a few times. I got an abrasion, but we are actually okay. <laughs> oh boy, how many levels did I get from that? Seven skill points available. So I fought the whole... Uh, I'll show you around my base real quick. Is there still going to be zombies? I still hear some zombies. Hello there. Can we please calm down? Dude, absolutely. I love this bat. It's so fun. It explodes everyone. Okay, it seems like the music is calming down. We'll take this. Ah! Okay, I'm a little overloaded. Hello, everyone. Could you please go away? I am busy. All right, we finally good. Let's use one of these guys. I have an abrasion. I don't know if that's going to go away with this. That is very nice. Um, Alrighty, so we are on Novice Gain, which is the, uh, the map made by the developers themselves. Uh, it is a brand new eighth day. The days are 30 minute long, so we're going to have to get a move on. This is our base right now. I need to get back. I need to break through this wall here. Where's my axe? Uh, I'll put that over there. Need to break through this wall to get our stuff because we're not staying here. This is, was our temporary base because we didn't have much time um, to build something better. I actually built this in the last few hours of the <laughs> of the seventh day. It was I, I cut it way too close. I don't know why I did that to myself. But yeah, we have our uh, cooking pot and everything over here. I should probably scrap a few of these things because it's gonna I'm gonna be over encumbered. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. Okay. So we are doing a club build. We actually found this baseball bat. I think we did. I think we actually found that in the snowy area. So that was pretty nice. I need to. I mean, I haven't played since the last episode. I was just eagerly awaiting you guys' response to the response to the first one, which was amazingly positive. So thank you guys so much. Um, let's see. So this is all our stuff. We have some bullets. I will take the bullets. I'm just going to be... I don't think I should be this over encumbered right away right away, and just explore around. You know what? Honestly, what I kind of want to do is go a little crazy on the first day. And... Oh, I dismantled it. I make, made this. Uh, and go to the snow area again to show the snow area who's boss. Because last time we got killed there. I'm just going to quickly uh, free up my inventory. And then we're going to go over there. Alrighty, there we go. I think that's a clear enough inventory. Uh, I'm also gonna, this was one of the most things, or the most common to things on the first episode. The first thing I did was drop my land claim block and say, well, that's not something I need in single player. Uh, pretty much everyone said, yes, you do. Because if you don't claim something, uh, it can, like the zombies can respawn or all your containers might disappear. So yeah, let's actually claim this area right here. Place that block right there. Beautiful. 
and then this should be fine so we're not gonna lose our uh our chest right there because that literally contains everything i own okay so where are we going we're going to the snow biome which is over there if you don't know if you go to a, a higher level biome the uh difficulty will go up by a ton the difficulty you can see right here it's called game stage based on this you will have uh higher level zombies spawn more zombies uh, uh attack you which look by at uh, this by the way 300 enemy kills and one death i feel like that's pretty all right for my first playthrough basically i'm gonna run over there i'll see you when i get there Alrighty, hello youtube uh something weird keeps happening my game kept crashing every time i tried to clear that house so i've cleared that house now i didn't really find anything important i found an extra baseball bat but we already have one of those i found this and i found the a black strap coffee recipe so that's all we found which this one is actually particularly useful because it gives lots of stamina regeneration but yeah i've been trying to just load the save file before it and then play through this house again but every time i play through the house it's cra it crashes so i'm just gonna continue afterwards um but anyway we're in the snow area uh i'm just gonna continue from here and we are uh at game stage 78 in this area which means that we are dealing with way way harder zombies uh, than in the normal area, which I do want to continue exploring the normal area. Obviously, what I mainly want to do is explore the normal area and find a town. I'm assuming there's got to be a town in the... Wait a minute. I've actually... <laughs> I think... Oh, yeah, I'm such a cheater. <laughs> um, this was one of the things I also did, but then the game crashed. And I was like, oh, wait, if you knew that the tr the the end game loot was right here, you could just break through that door and grab it right away without doing the rest of the house at all. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm using my knowledge from a different timeline. Uh, hey, I feel like the game has died way more times than I've died. I've died a total of one time. The game has now crashed a total of, I don't know, seven times in a row. I just, I just really hope you're watching this right now and we can, in fact, continue the YouTube series and it's not going to be dead in the water because the game just gives up. That would be a real shame because I've been absolutely loving this game. I think it's some kind of issue with OBS. Oh, look at that. What? The iron leg armor? I mean, I have... I guess it's better than what I have right now. It also looks very cool. Um, I will be taking that. Thank you very much. Hi. I'm just going to take all of that. Can I lockpick this? I don't think I have a lockpick. I'm just gonna bounce out of here. I'll leave you guys to it. <laughs> Thank you for the loot, suckers. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, so that's another house cleared, and so far we're still here. Um, I'm just gonna assume that we are not gonna crash and just forget about it, even though it is it is scary. And that is, I think, everything in this town, because we already cleared that one. We cleared this one, which this is where we died last time, because we got swarmed. I don't really know what to do when you get swarmed by a bunch of zombies. I guess the answer is avoid it happening in the first place if you get swarmed it's already too late don't let that happen um and another thing i don't know how to deal with is animals like bears and uh those mountain lions that's not a mountain lion that's just a zombie there's mountain lions as well and i don't really know how to like stun them long enough to kill them because they are tanky as hell stone quality tools level five i can craft now that's amazing the PMB, the Peanut Butter Company. I'm assuming that's what that means. Ah, uh, there's a bear right there. Don't see me, please. I want to avoid you. We get a level two gun. I'll just put my level one in here. How much does it sell for? 28 for a gun? Or 29 for a pistol? I'm assuming you pay way more in today's money to get a pistol. You wouldn't think that guns would go down in price in the apocalypse. How is that even possible? I guess... I guess we are in the United States. Maybe maybe here guns are very common. Which that's still I've never shot a like real gun in my life. The only gun I've ever shot is like a Nerf gun. And it seems like such a terror like once you know how that feels like, I don't know, it just just don't understand the whole wants. Like I don't understand why people want to have guns. Like I know it's a necessity once the like everyone in your country has guns. It's like it's like a prisoner's dilemma, right? You can't do away with your guns because the other people have guns and the criminals are going to have guns. Uh, I guess criminals are always going to have guns no matter where they are because they, they figure out ways to find them. Uh, but yeah, I'd rather not have every random citizen have a gun because most people are stupid. You learn. You learn that when you work like any job. Oh God, there's so many. Jesus, you're fast. Okay, you're a feral. 
Uh, if you work any job in the service industry, you know that most people are assholes and stupid. So the fact that every one of those assholes that screams at you while you're working in like a... In a store could also have a gun. Just seems like absolute hell on earth to me. But hey, I... I haven't invented it. I haven't lived in the society. So I don't know how it feels like. Maybe it's okay. It's just like a culture shock. Oh, hello. I've been to the US many times. It's a, it's absolutely beautiful out there. Highly, if you haven't, hello. If you haven't, like I, a lot of people in the US probably haven't seen the US as much as I have, uh, because I've been, I mean, I've seen, oh, you're also feral. I've seen very um, specific parts, obviously of the US, not like the living areas, mostly just the national parks. And oh boy, is it gorgeous out there. You guys got some beautiful nature. What I really like about the US, which makes sense, um, because it is such a big country, is that you can find everything. You can find stuff that looks like Switzerland, stuff that looks like, I don't know, alien landscapes with, like, these red stones. That, that is my favorite landscape in the U.S. The, like, red stone areas, like Zion, Bryce, um, the Grand Canyon, all that stuff. Grand Canyon, I don't want to be a hipster. Vastly overrated. Grand Canyon is really not that special. It's just a big, big, like, river <laughs> um that's like in a hole i i like uh bryce way more bryce is like it's actually like an alien landscape you're like what the fuck am i looking at yeah like yeah the grand canyon it's it's in the name right you you hear the name you see the pictures i, I think that's the reason i don't like the grand canyon that much because it's like if you see a picture of the grand canyon you've seen the grand canyon it's that you can't really like it's not really different when you're there than when you see it on a picture. Whereas something like Bryce, it's like when you're walking through the spikes, um, it's just, it's, it feels like a, how is this still working? <laughs> this is this like one of those stick? Wait, what the hell can you buy here? Grandpa's autumn awesome sauce. Grandpa's moonshine. 1500 for a, <laughs> who's selling me this mega crush? 50% run speed. Damn. Should I put this on by the way? I feel like I should. Uh, even though, wait, so I, it's better. Can I repair this? What do I take? Does it take to repair this? I guess I should put that on. Put that on, take off the, the mod from this one. Can I still put two mods on this armor? Can I? I can still put two mods on there. All right, get the extra inventory slot. I also have a steroid, right? Didn't I have a steroid? Did I put that in somewhere? I thought I had one. Um. Maybe I'm... Oh, I am blind. It's right there. I'm just gonna use this now. Oh. Wait, I was searching the desk from over here. Uh, I don't need that. I already got that on my head. I should be breaking these. I'm assuming that... Because... Oh, was that? I can burning shaft schematic? Let's go. I mean, I already have one, so I don't really need that. Uh, the vehicle. I want to craft a vehicle. That's what I was talking about before it crashed. Um, my goal, so let me talk about that. I got so lost in the sauce. It's a little confusing when I'm recording a video and seven times it crashes, so I don't remember what I've talked about in the video already. But basically, the plan that I want to do is go back to the normal area uh, after this, after we do some exploring here and hopefully not die. And then, which so far it hasn't crashed. It would have already crashed, so I think we're going to be fine. I think you're going to be able to watch this on YouTube, which makes me very happy. Let's go. Um, but basically... I want to go back to the green luscious area where everything is good and happy and then i want to find a town i'm assuming there's a town what the fuck? Did you come out of the window i need to also drink some water uh drink the water i could actually you know what i have three of these let's use one of these and just see how good it is 60 seconds of food not a, as much water but that's okay um the music is still going. I should also repair this thing so I don't get caught with my pants down. There we go. Thank you for the forge. Can we craft the forge? How many books do you have to read to craft the forge, man? Because I really want to get a wrench so we can break down stuff so we can maybe create a vehicle at some point. People told me that I should do uh, the trader quest because the trader quest gives you a bicycle and the bicycle... Um, can obviously allow you to get around faster, which will make traveling way easier, which is going to be especially important for us because we are um, playing with shorter days. Hi. Uh, excuse me, that's another feral. You see way more of those in this universe or in this area. 
It's already night. I didn't even realize that. It feels like time has been flying. All right, you're dead. You're downstairs. That's fine. I'm level 21 already. We're leveling up like crazy. What the hell is this? 15% more damage against iron. That's interesting. Blood crafting. Take all of that. Take the ammo. Uh, what is this? You can craft shotgun slugs. Did I already read that? I think I already read that. Wasn't the book open? Oopsie daisy. That's okay. Uh, also, did I even show you what level ups I picked? I don't think I showed you that. Uh, I also have some perk points. What I leveled up with the seven skill points we had at the end of the last episode was one in heavy armor, one in minor 69er, so that's maxed out, one in pummel peat, and two in strength. I'm trying to max out or uh, max out the, the club skill here. I think I'll put another one in strength. I know I'm going a little hard on strength, but we're also leveling up like crazy. I'm ice cold out here. You are freezing. Whoopsie daisy. Let me quickly get this and get back inside. Did you read that? It is very cold. Does this fire help me in any way? Is there a zombie down here? Isn't there a zombie drop down? Or no, no, someone broke it while walking over it. All right, I'm inside, safe and sound. A little too much stuff on me. Should probably, how much is this to sell? Yeah, I should probably sell that rather than just scrap it, but. Hello? I love this TV, by the way. The storytelling in this game is very fun. Like, I, seeing the, oh, hello you. Seeing the, like the, pa the, the right before times. Like this was, people were just chilling and then the apocalypse hit. Literally still the TV on the emergency broadcast network. And then everyone turned into zombies, which I don't really know how the zombie apocalypse works in this game because, um, oh God, there's a bear. I'm not turning into a zombie when I get hit by a zombie. So how did literally every human being turn into a zombie instantly without the zombie apocalypse being uh, very infectious? It seems like it's not very infectious. Uh, I should probably not go out at night, should I? It seems like a terrible idea. There's a loot bag over there. How did that get there? Did someone just die out here? Did we get attacked by a bear? A, a, a robotic sledge? Melee damage? What? <laughs> That's kind of sick. What the hell is that? Can I just place that down? Wait a minute. What is this? The turret? What? It's like a... Oh my god, you are massive. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I need to wait. I can just kite you here. I can bait you here Uh, hello. <laughs> this is super cheesy, but what what choice do I have? Hello? You're gonna be able to break through that. Please. No. Ah, you can hit very far. Okay. Be careful, but he gets stunned Uh, this is not according to plan. Could you come over here, sir? No, oh! okay. Jesus Christ your range is fucked up, man. Uh, I'm gonna use one of these guys and just shoot you, I guess. I should really be careful not... If he breaks that block, I'm so fucked. Let's go. Okay, well, that I guess that's how you deal with bears. Um, because those are the two things that, like, overwhelm me and kill me. Uh, dealing with a large horde of zombies. I don't know how to do that, especially when they're running. You just get destroyed. And then the second thing is dealing with animals. Animals seem incredibly powerful in this game. Especially the the bears and the saber tooth cat the the oh the coyotes and stuff not so much oh hi oh, you're crawling even he is crawling faster can you attack him turret I'm just gonna pick this up this seems really cool I've just found a turret I'm never gonna be able to craft that myself so we'll just use that in our base defense from now on. Uh, I'm going to actually take a backup right now of the save file just in case it crashes. Give me one second. Alrighty, there we go. I really don't want to use lose this turret. Was my inventory always this full? I should drop it off in the chest. Um, but so far, it seems fine. I think I think we have recovered. I don't know what the hell was causing the crashes. Maybe just some some hurdle the game had to get over. And now that it's over it, we're fine. That's just the copium I'm going to decide to take. I need to be careful here if there's like a uh, sudden zombies that are gonna run at me. I stand no chance. Just wanna drop off my stuff in this chest. Stack everything. Let's put that in there. 
don't think I'm gonna be what is this by the way modification for melee weapons and tools lowers degradation by 25 I mean that's okay but I just have these repair kits it's fine what is this testosterone extract <laughs> excuse me all right then uh put all of that away I don't need all this food not even the murky water there we go beautiful I mean we also have like uh I guess I don't even... I mean, the shotgun there was pretty useful. I don't know if I'm going to use this pistol. Anyway, uh, let's run over there. There's probably going to be more. This should be... Oh, hello. What the fuck are you? Jesus! I can jump. <laughs> You're spooky. In about an hour, we're going to be fine. We've already spent our first day in the snow biome, and we're still alive. Hi there, sir. Don't spend all your stamina. I love the way they ragdoll. It's amazing. Okay, no more bears, please. I would like to not have that. I am still hurt. Should maybe use one of these guys. A little scary. Uh, I can also craft... Or did I put my wood away? I did put my wood away. I can craft a better stone axe. Uh, there's a doggy. I think... Is that a doggy or is that a mountain lion? I think it's just a wolf. Is this going to be my end... Hello, sir. Is it a feral wolf? I'm a little scared of you. Did I reload my shotgun? I did. Um, two enemies. I could just walk around them, but I kind of... Oh, you are indeed a feral wolf. I don't like you. Can I throw a bomb? Ah, it's just stankier than I thought. It slowed. Kill it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I'm sorry, doggies. <laughs> sorry, doggy. Okay. I mean, uh, maybe that was because of the bomb. Probably was because of the bomb. That seemed like... It seems like bombs are a relatively okay way to deal with them. And, like, headshot damage there. Because that bear freaking exploded. I don't know how much more health they have. That's one thing. Like, if you don't kill the enemies, there's very little that tells you about, like, how hurt they are. Because they just look the exact same. If they're at 1 HP or if they're at max HP. Uh, why is the time disappeared at the top? Oh, it's because I was looting. It disappears when you loot. I don't know if I need these pumpkins. Any buildings? I can't really see. I'm going to stay on the big road because that's probably going to lead to the bigger structure. Goodbye. We should... I'm going to do like one thing out here and then get the hell out of here. I am getting myself into big trouble. I love that the, all the newspaper. Nuclear disaster. Nuclear disaster. The di flu epidemic. Interesting. I didn't see those yet. It was just a regular flu. It was like pandemic uh, or um, plague ink. Where you are like a disease that is trying to spread as much as possible. And then suddenly... Oh, wait. By the way, I also need to drink some water. And then suddenly you decide to be, make yourself infectious and kill everyone. I played Plague Inc. I remember... Oh, hello. Playing that in high school during lunch on my phone. Beautiful times. Playing Flappy Bird. I never enjoyed Flappy Bird. That shit was just hot garbage i know that was kind of the point of it but like i'd never understood why that got so popular because the game is damn annoying not even fun boom i guess it's just the social aspect okay well this is going to be the ultimate test can we do novice gain high school four stars plus the bonus of this is going to be a total utter disaster potentially but here we go how do I get in here? This is also going to be a big area. This might take the whole day to explore. As long as we don't get ourselves swarmed by a large group of zombies. You can obviously one-shot each zombie at one at a time. As long as... Can I craft a forge? There we go. Finally. What do I need for the forge? Here we go. We need cobblestones. We have that wooden log. I'm assuming I can craft... This is easy to craft. Wait. How do you craft a log? wood log it just takes some wood okay we finally can make the forge that is a huge improvement after this we're gonna take our victory and leave i should really loot these cars the cars have lots of stuff in them but i i wanna they're too bad space ball bad let's go <laughs> let's go okay wait how much better is that this is 41 obviously this one is better because it's got mods on it if i take those mods off of it 
how how much is the difference it's only one point so it's not that much but hey everything counts I'm gonna modify you this on it this is like my favorite mod ever the wait what did i just do i'm gonna i guess scrap this or, yeah i guess what else i can sell it for 24. get seven wood out of that hello sir what are you doing boom <laughs> Yeah, blast. Nav is against survivors. Home of the survivors. Uh, something is telling me that is not accurate anymore. Is this a town, by the way? Oh, the the wheel. I need wheels to craft a vehicle. Uh, what the fuck is going on here, dude? What is that? It's the doggos. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to be there. I hate the doggies. Don't want to go to that area. There's something over there. Dude, these places are cool. So if you're seeing these things and you're thinking like, oh, I should play on the generated map as well, because I'm going to see... Oh, I didn't even know you could loot these. I'm going to see all these points of interest. You don't have to worry. You can play on any generated map and you'll also have these points of interest. They just won't be in these exact spots for you uh, because they... Warning, neighborhood watch program in force. I don't think they're watching me anymore. Oh, I was trying to close that door. Hello? Get blasted. Absolutely destroyed. Any medicine in here? I'm a little spooked. This is like by far the hardest. Six! Okay, the loot is also... <laughs> the loot is also amazing. Look at that. I mean, it's not that much of an improvement, but it looks... I don't think you can even craft level six things. Um, Sell that for 200 or just scrap it. There's no modifications on this either. All right, then. That's literally just a random loot box here. Oh, there's so much to loot here. If I can find... I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a wrench in here. I think I should actually ditch the pumpkins. You know what? I'm sorry, pumpkins, but you're not worth my inventory slots. Uh, oh, I can actually... I can buy stuff here. Are you kidding me? That's so ridiculous. <laughs> there's a mailbox. Uh, why would you have that in your mailbox at a school? What are you doing? That seems a little messed up. Closed doors, be careful. Hello? You breaking stuff? What are you doing? Bye, bye. I don't understand the zombie behavior sometimes. Sometimes they go after me, sometimes they just really hate the furniture. You're shaking. Need to win thread volume three. Foodware. Everyone needs shoes. Learn to craft a variety of good looking and versatile foodware. Alright. I will take that. Hello? I've always been so jealous at the lockers you guys have in the US. Like, is this actually normal? Having, I know, oh, all right. Is this actually normal to have these, uh, like long ass lockers? We had these tiny boxes, like literally, literally this size, like my face. That was how big you couldn't even fit your bag in there. You could fit a few books in there. That was all. And they were like, they were stacked on top of each other. I had like the bottom one, so I had like the the little bitch one where I had to crouch down to get into my thing. Instead of uh claw hammer quality one. Alright, let's put this on. I mean it's just straight up better. It's too better. This is already proving to be a lucrative place to be. And we haven't even got to the final loot yet. Modify that. This is... Oh, you can put three on this. I don't know if you can put the same mod on there. Like, could I just put a bunch of bags on my pants? Is that a thing I could do? Maybe. Uh, okay, we'll take that. Uh, hello. Jesus Christ. <laughs> These fast zombies are scary, man. Oh, there's a cop. He's going to shoot me. Okay, be careful. Close that door. Stay out of line of sight. Oh. Something is glowing green. I think that's what the cop just spit on my face. I'll be reading that. Club crafting skill twice. Wooden club quality four. I don't think that's gonna be my weapon of choice anymore. Uh, what is this? A shotgun duckbill mod? Yeah, I need to kill you. Can I even be here? Can you stop? Nice. Get blasted. Nice. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Hello. I should be 
on guard at any second. Like, because last time when I died, it was actually when I had already cleared the entire... Hello. When I had already... What are you doing? Why are you crawling like that? I already cleared the entire point of interest. Then I opened the door to leave. And that's when I got swarmed and killed. So you're not safe even when you have cleared it. Modifies the spread to a horizontal pattern instead of the normal round one. That is interesting. <laughs> I don't think I want that. It's like, uh, actually, maybe I do want that. That's like crowd control, right? It just pushes people aside. The flashlight mod. I'll put that on there, you know? I don't know if that's... I mean, you can... It's it's worse for headshots, right? It works for just, like, singling down uh, one, one animal or something. I'm scrapping these pants, by the way. We could leave this place with a wrench. Like a, a, a high-level wrench somehow. Don't know how that's going to be possible. We could also be eating. Uh... Eat this. This. Drink. Ah, please. I could also use my turret to, like, fight for me. Even though maybe zombies will target the turret and destroy it. I really don't want to lose that thing. This is a cool place, man. It feels so handcrafted. Like, I mean, obviously there are. Every single one of these environments is completely manually designed. That was, like, a lot of thought went into this. And there's, like... I don't know, hundreds of these buildings that you can explore. Should probably leave my... Uh, can I make a chest? A oh, there's a doggy. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Wait, can you walk into that? Can I place this here? You're gonna hit him? Hit him! Uh, are you destroying the block? You should... Wait, did he just get bonked down? Close it! I don't know why. I, I just want to get rid of you. Bonk him! Bonk him? You're bonking the wrong thing. Can I hit him in the face? Yes. <laughs> get cheesed, dude. Absolutely cheesed. I just really want to not be over encumbered too much. All right, everyone's chilling. It's already 12. We're definitely going to take the whole day to do this. Can I get a wooden log? Is there anything to break? Uh, that's gonna give me metal. Any wood? Uh, I guess the door frame here. That's a metal door. Never mind. That is polymers. No wood in sight. Really? This desk. There we go. That should be enough. Secure storage. I'm just gonna put this at the door. To protect my loot for now. Because there are so many things that I have in my inventory that I shouldn't be having. Like this. Fire. Oh, look at all the stuff, man. I mean, I just want to pick up everything. Because everyone, like every time I watch someone else play this game, they just pick up everything. I would, like, when I, when you play Project Zomboid and you pick up everything, you are fucked. You're going to be, like, over encumbered and die. But that's also because that's a different type of game, right? In this game, being over encumbered and slow and stuff is not as punishing. Because in that game, if you get, like, bit on the finger, say bye bye. You are dead. It's over. Okay, be careful. You're gonna be multiple zombies running. Can you come out here? Oh, whoops. Okay, you're extremely slow. Hello, library. The sounds of some of the zombies is also so good. A club level two. It's crazy how much better another forge. If there's going to be lots of books here, this is going to be amazing. Cool. Now that we have the forge, though, we can... Oh, I shouldn't have read that. I mean, I guess I won't really be selling these books. Because I... if it, the book is open, that means you've already read it. And you can sell it if you want. Uh, whoops. If we can now craft the forge and make our own wrench. Because I assume we can make a wrench, right? We need 12 forged iron. Kind of like a chicken or the egg problem, right? Because you need the wrench to get forged iron from stuff. But in order to get a wrench, you first need forced iron. What is this? How am I supposed to accomplish this? Big hitters. I don't know. Wait, what is this? 
barrel extender mod schematic is the iron club better i'm assuming there's an iron club there's no club there's a steel club which what do you need to craft that you need forged steel uh and i need to be level 39 with clubs that is insane okay so you're either gonna find that yourself or it's over you're never gonna make that uh power attacks okay but this is already red so i could pick this up and sell it but i'm just gonna take that 100 experience means nothing to me but an inventory slot means more can i get up here uh i'm supposed to climb huh this is cool don't fall please okay is this already gonna be the end of it it can't be right did we really go through the whole school this is a small school oh no not the bird hello Stop it. <laughs> Dude, home run. <laughs> what the fuck? You went absolutely flying. Don't jump at me. You peace? Oh, oops. Nice try. You're just like totally fine until you run out of stamina and then everything goes bad. Dude, these zombies designs are amazing. I don't know if these have been looking like this for, for this long or if it's only since the latest update that they look like this, but... They're well made. Uh, where am I going? I can break this or I can just walk through that. Uh, I don't really need that, to be honest. I don't really plan on using handguns much anyway. What's that? Oh, the light leads me to go here. Thank you, developers. Appreciate it. Hello. Oh, thank you. Don't explode, please. We're only 800 experience. These are just basic zombies now, huh? special ones climb over there i don't think i wanted to do that apparently you never have to oh there's a soldier these guys are strong Luckily, they're sh <laughs> what the hell this hand was hanging by a thread i'm using so much less stamina or i don't know what is happening oh you're already dead so like i'm this is going too well. I want that for the special goldenrod tea. I'll take it though. Can I please get church soda fountain? <laughs> That's disgusting. Which soda really? I mean, I guess it's been a uh, many, many, many years. The soda would eventually go bad. I feel like that stuff was already like bad to begin with it's already so acidic and stuff that it's like gonna kill all bacteria that want to eat the eat the soda i never drink soda i i don't know how people can how people can so it can be installed into clubs 10 percent knockdown chance wait a minute if that also gives some extra damage that is definitely better than this because this has a chance to stun and slow victims I don't know. It doesn't say ch what the chance is, though. That's the problem. Maybe it's better. Like, this one says the exact number. The other one just says chance without any explanation as to what it is. I don't know if it's going to be better over. I need to get a move on here. What the hell is going on? Oh, Jesus Christ. Where did you come from? Oh, you opened this door. If we. If I'm still in this place when it hits midnight, we're so fucked. Uh, like, I would like to go all the way out of this area before the night hits, if we can make that. I'll take more of that. Any zombies in here? Bookshelf. This is the... You can craft shotgun slugs. I guess I'll put it in my inventory for now. I mean, we're gonna get overweight, like, instantly. Whatever, we'll take the... Take the EXP. Hello? This is... I didn't have... We didn't have dust like this. But these are like the classic. I guess this is uh, probably supposed to be an older time. I think the actual game happens in 2035. Uh, and the apocalypse started in 2013 based on the story of this game. Which there isn't really a story. It's just like environmental storytelling. Which is more than enough for me. Like Project Zomboid doesn't have a story. I don't need a story to enjoy a survival game. Some people do. Which is totally valid. Um, can I, where do I go? I think I want maybe go down. 
I think I do go down. Hello, I see zombies. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a lot of enemies. Hi, big boy. As long as there's no ranged sucker, I'm fine. I'm running out of stamina. Actually, I'm not running out of stamina at all. It's amazing. What the heck is this toilet? One toilet? We did not have standing toilets in our actually. I don't think we did. I think we had only sitting toilets for both uh bathrooms. They were all just the exact same. I feel like that it should be at least standard to have a few sitting down toilets for uh male bathrooms too. Because like, st I mean, standing is fine. It's just, it's some, like, sometimes you got to do number two, you know? And the fact that there's then only two of them, which I guess most, the, they probably thought about it, right? Based on efficiency, it's the best of there's mostly standing toilets. They're going to be, this is a science lab. Never mind. I thought this was my wrench. Take more cooking. I can now make pumpkin pie. I've just ditched all my pumpkins. Maybe I should have done that. I haven't really needed to cook much. I can just loot everything. Uh, I came from... What the fuck is that noise? Excuse me? Oh, it's a dog. Can I... Hello. Can I plug this down, please? There. <laughs> Smack him. Dude, this is the cheesiest strat. Dogs are not very strong. Can you kill that guy? Uh, you're destroying the door. Can I just open this door? No, it's locked. Uh, you're eventually gonna swarm me. You're being annoying right now, sir. And I. Fuck! Alright, whatever, I'm going. Eventually, there'll be a dog swarming me, though. I'm gonna have to be careful of that. Assuming I'm going the right way, as long as you see unlocked doors. What? The <laughs> Showers like that, dude. Uh, I guess I was in a... I was spoiled by my high school. I have never had this. I mean, we, we had these in, in sports, but in high school, I feel like... Shower stalls is the way to go. People are so insecure. It's high school, man. Don't make people more insecure by oh this is gonna be a disaster by making them see each other's wee wee oh night how did you get up there jeremy jeremy get down from there how did you get up there <laughs> what the fuck are you doing <laughs> this is ridiculous how did these humans get up there you die okay they're gonna come down close the door uh can i just like explode all of them when they get to this door right here Okay, you guys get close to the door. And then I use this. That did not... Of course, it didn't go through the door. Understandable. Have a nice day. Uh, hello, gamers. Ah, shit! That was good. <laughs> Let's, oh, my God. <laughs> it's insane looking. What is this? Chest armor? The dog is going to break through soon. I'll just take everything here. Thank you very much. Close that. All right. Well, that worked out. You just got to... Like, this is a game that I think also benefits a lot from, like, experience. If you know the game and you know where the zombies are going to come from, you're going to be much better. Okay, never mind. There's still more. Hello? Oh, it's these fools. That's fine. Uh, whoops. I should not be doing that. Almost gonna be midnight, but we're fine. Everyone's dead. All right, I'm gonna stay in this area during the night, I think. Going out right now will be a death sentence. What was that? I wish I could... I guess I could just break this crate here, but it takes forever. I... Is the dog coming? Or did the dog leave me alone? Military crate, more ammo. My doggy, please do not sneak up on me. I will scream. That's a lot of ammo. I'll take it. <laughs> magnum ammo. I don't even have a magnum, though. Uh on crafting skill. Pipe quality three now. Um, I didn't read that. More stuff. 
guess I could just literally this. I mean, this was okay. We mostly found the best loot, not even in the actual. We found this, this. Uh, that wasn't even in the chest. I'm not gonna click that button because as soon as I clicked that button last time, I got absolutely destroyed. I guess I'll just be smacking this throughout the whole night and then see you when the night is over and this is broken. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. Finally destroyed the thing. What do we have in here? A level six armor pocket mods. <laughs> Let's go. And I needed this. I, did, I would just realize I didn't have any healing. Uh, all these books, money, which I think the money actually sells for more money. Uh, all right, well, that was totally worth it. The people or the zombies have been banging on the door this whole time. It's been making me very nervous. I put that on. I mean, I had a level six, but definitely way worse. Uh, then the level six iron and we will put This on there. There we go. Consult. Wait now we can finally do our test. Can you put? Multiple of the same modifier you can not <laughs> Okay, you cannot That makes sense. I just wanted to know. Okay, put that on there. We have two extra slots For inventory and this is without any points in the pack mule Maybe I should have taken one point. Maybe I got a little... Maybe I got reverse noob trap. People were telling me it was a noob trap to put points in the pack meal. And then I didn't do any of that. Which actually hurt me more in the end. Okay, I cannot open these gates. Because if I do, and there's a bunch of running zombies on the other side, I will get myself killed. So I guess we're just gonna have to chill here for the next two hours. And I'll see you when I open the door. Hello there. Uh, good morning to you, too. <laughs> what the hell is that other guy? Okay, it's uh, morning now. Can I kill you guys from here? Okay, they're hitting each other? Did you just get smacked by the other dude? All right, I'm gonna... I don't know if I should open this door because the guy was feral. I think I should take this slow. Wait, did he actually die? Hello. You're dead. I don't think the other guy is there. I'm a little overweight, so this could be bad. But it's time to open these. It op only opened this one. The other zombie. I don't know how you died, but I pre did this other guy kill you? Pathetic. Okay, everyone, it's it's safe. It's totally nice out here. Okay, well, if it's gonna be like that, if we just clear that, maybe overconfidence comes before the fall. But if we clear that, then maybe we're gonna be able to clear even bigger zones. I think it's just like I'm so tanky. I feel. <laughs> I feel so strong. Hello, sir. I will be smacking you. And now we, we should quickly drop off some stuff over here. I need to remember that it's here. I will only spend this. I will still spend this day here. And then it is really time to go somewhere else and try and figure out a permanent residence. I right, drop all this off. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Don't need all this crafting stuff. Also quick stack like that. I don't have any ammo for that or any weapon. I also found these glasses, by the way. Beautiful. I don't think I can even take all of this later, obviously. Uh, put that in there. This and this. Alrighty. Let's go. We're fine. Which one of these, though? Do we do the tower one? Do we do the festival looking area? I think I want to do the building here. I was expecting... I mean, I guess there were a lot of books in here. I guess I don't really know what to expect from the books. I know there's one book that gives me... Oh, you're running. Uh, that gives me like a double clothing mod, which gives me better inventory space. I am cold. I am going inside. Do oh, this is doggos. Oh, well, let's see. <laughs> let's see how dangerous doggos is going to be. Oh, no. Doggies everywhere. Oh, hi. Don't you dare, you piece. I took... So that is like not even 10 damage from a hit from like a... A higher level zombie. No problem. Oh, no. Um, oh, Jesus! Holy fuck, this scared the shit out of me. I did not realize they were behind me. How did you... How did you get there? Holy, that gets the heart pumping. <laughs> the super jump scare. More cooking, yes, please. When will I get punished for my greed? Will I ever get punished for my greed? Or will I just be able to be greedy? Uh, I mean, it's only eight bucks. 
If I scrap that, I could probably get a bunch of iron. Nice pants. Oh, thank you. Take the pipe. Alrighty. I haven't seen a dog yet, but that probably isn't gonna hold up for very long. Thank you for all the stuff. Oh, God. Hello. Hey, doggy. There's a doggy right there. You're evil. <clears throat> but you're stuck. Are you truly stuck? Oh, what the hell? Stone sledgehammer. Oh, hi. Wait, you're actually... Hello? Um... What? <laughs> Excuse me? What the fuck is happening with this doggy? Wait, how tanky are you? I'm sorry, dog. What the fuck? I think the AI just like gave up. AI was like, all right, it's over. This guy's too strong. I don't know what the fuck. Hello. Okay, I can one shot them. So that is not, okay. The dogs are not that strong. I'm strong. I mean, I am rocking like a crazy baseball bat. I'm sorry. This I'm I'm getting them out of their misery, right? Knife guy, blades. I know blades are actually really good. On one of my like solo playthroughs, I found a level two hunting knife right away, and it is basically one shotting everyone with a power attack. If you can find, I think you can find them in the in sinks and toilets. Just make sure to loot every sink and toilet because if you can find that, it changes your life. It's so strong. Uh, I'm assuming this is the way I have to go. Hello. All these damn fast zombies here. Ew. You are the first zombie in a while to survive a normal hit from me. I'm a little on edge, though. Well, should I even look behind this? I guess I should look behind that. <laughs> Can I get more coffee, please? That's not coffee. I mean, maybe it was coffee once. Oh, Jesus! Oh. You are fast, my guy. How did you survive that? Uh, hello? My aim? Where's my aim? NA aim? I don't even really need that. So what do I... That is a, I mean, huge stamina cost, but also... Did I not put this in? I should have put that in the chest. People were probably yelling at me. Why didn't you put that in the chest? I just didn't see it. I'm going outside all the time. No one on here. Uh, nice try, <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> they, oh, go. <God. laughs> that one got me. I swear to God. This, this feels like a... What is that game? The platforming game? Where they just like keep uh, the trap game, trap quest or something, I think it's called. That like every YouTuber played at some point. Oh god. Okay, well that was not too strong. <laughs> okay, if it's not a feral wolf, they're fine. Wait, this is my loot. Anything here? I don't trust it. Oh, there's doggies. Wait, what if I do this? Is that even gonna hit them? Did not hit them. Well, it hit the. Oh no! What happens to the AI of these dogs? You see that they just break. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, this gives me rotten meat. I don't want that. I mean, I guess I could get leather this way. Leather and bones. I have a lot of leather though. I don't even know if that's actually needed. There you go. I'm sorry, doggies, but you're in a better place now. Uh, let's see. No lock chest here, luckily. I can get everything without having to spend days mining it away. Okay, this is not too crazy. I mean, this was a way less... That crossbow bolt? A way less high-level place than the other place. You can see the effects of that. What is this? Shotgun? What is that? More damage against stone? Uh, pipe quality four. We can definitely improve. Alrighty. Well, that was another. Um, can I jump that without dying? Maybe this. Ah. Oh, what the fuck am I standing on? <laughs> I'll take it though. There we go. 
Okay, well, that was easy. Easy peasy. It's 10. I can do that house, right? There's like one veteran player that's going, no, dude, you're fucking... You're playing this way too risky. I'm sorry, I'm just having a great time. I love the loot. I love the loot potential. 90 game stage? Holy. We've gone up by like another... 12 since we started being in this area. I just love the potential of like high dopamine loot in this area. I don't think this is even... I think the wasteland is even higher level. But that area looks depressive, depressing as shit. Where it, this area still looks really nice. Oh, hi, Feral. Absolutely went flying. Uh, I could get in here. There's a lot of zombies here. I should really clear these guys. Before... Stuff gets bad. I have low stamina. Boom. Goodbye. And massive... There's a wolf there. That a feral wolf. Massive uh, experience from this. Another wheel. If we can collect four wheels. Hi, doggy. Um... Oh, well, that was easy. I mean, it's a gun versus wolf. <laughs> that doesn't feel like a very fair fight. Look at this. I don't I don't... I think I'm still going to stick to, like, converting an existing... Oh, it's a kindergarten. Oh, no. Converting an existing building into my base rather than, like, building my own entire base. Maybe I'll build one of those, like, horde bases. Like, the meta horde bases. Just to see what... How much better that is. You know, um... If you're a veteran of this game, you probably know what I talk what I'm talking about. Like one of those elevated bases uh, with like a, a walkway towards where you're standing. Hello. So that every zombie gets bottlenecked. You got the high ground. But you're also dead. Oh hi. I love how <laughs> these are this feels like a damn Dark Souls game, man. If you've ever played a Dark Souls game. You know that From Software loves to play or loves to mess with the player by like putting an item somewhere, knowing the player's gonna run to the item, and then there's like enemies around the corner waiting for them when they are another I haven't picked up a single airdrop yet. Should really be Oh my god, what is this? Project uh, a sledgehammer. I already got a good sledgehammer. I'm not gonna waste my inventory on that. I don't have another Um Another steroid, so we are going to be overweight. That's okay. So can I get vehicle? Wooden club quality. Vehicle, we have 10 or 9 of the booklets. I feel like a 10 there's got to be a milestone, right? If I can craft a motorcycle, that would be sick. We should really try and get the forge this episode. Forge plus... Maybe I'll still stay in the... In the old base for now. Just like if I spend a, this entire day here, then I have... It's gonna be a trap. Vicious. Low zombies. Uh, hello. Oops. Aim is... Or I don't know if there's aim assist, but the hitboxes are pretty forgiving. Someone coming from there? When is there gonna be like a zombie sitting on the toilet? Uh, thank you. I will be putting this over here, I guess, instead of the stew. Goodbye. Luckily, luckily these children took iron armor to school. <laughs> I really appreciate that, kids. Uh, what the hell is that leather chest armor? Well, you get stamp. It's, it's way lighter. I'm not going to do that. I should just scrap this, right? I know I can sell it, but at some point, uh, agility, ah, uh, at some point it gets too much. We go out the window. Where do I go? Up, up, up. There hasn't been many children, luckily. I mean, that would be sad as hell, right? <laughs> that's, that's like an unwritten rule in zombie games that you don't have children zombies because it would be too depressing. I've still not watched The Last of Us. I still haven't played The Last of Us 2. 
played The Last of Us 1, which was a lot of fun. It's on YouTube, by the way, if you want to check that out. But I like the, I played that mostly for the lore. We've been playing so many fun games. I've been having a lot more... Oh, hi. Like, I've been having fun with YouTube for since I started. But it's been a lot more stable recently, where I feel like I can just kind of play games that are genuinely fun and then like can trust the youtube algorithm and you guys to actually enjoy and watch most of it i guess obviously if i play certain games it's going to get more views like by default than others but it, the 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 floor has gone up like before if i uploaded something that was like different from what i usually upload it could be like 10 20k views compared to like now it's usually around 40k this episode might have low views because it's the second episode in a series that is different which I, I that is to be expected like episodic series are different to me because it's to be expected that um the second episodes are gonna do worse just because of the nature of people not watching the first one it, and usually that is made up in the fact that people watch the first one way more like the first one right now i think has like 50k views by the time we finish the series it'll have like at least over a hundred probably i'm i mean i'm speaking of experience here not necessarily know if that's gonna pan out this way for this time and something like dave the diver was lots of fun which by the way if you didn't already see it i never showed this on youtube but i got this whole loot crate from dave the diver uh i should not be i should pause the game while i do this which has like this little figurine in there, which I found really cool. Oh, God. Look at this dude. Look at this little guy. Little Dave the Diver guy. If you haven't watched that series and you like uh, Stardew Valley or fishing games in general, highly recommend either playing the game or just checking out my series on it. Anyway, I'm not here to advertise my own stuff. I'm just here to talk about things. Um, did we have all the wheels, I think? That is... Oh, no. That's two wheels. And we have another wheel somewhere else. Uh, Doggo's board... Okay. That is where we just came from. How do I get down now? Is there a way to get down, or do I just have to go all the way back around? If I jump that, I'm definitely gonna take fall damage. This has been going, like, extraordinarily well. Can I... Does this give healing stamina regen? Does any of this give healing? This gives healing. Drink that. Uh, I guess I could eat that. I'll just take the coffee. Gives water as well as stamina regen. That's awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna go back the normal way. Alrighty, just made another quick backup because I we've been not crashing. Like, it, it feels very different. When I was first playing this, or when I was having the crashing problems, which has happened actually seven times. Like, seven times at... Not at the exact same time, but pretty much as soon as I got into the snow biome and cleared one house, it would crash the entire game. But we haven't been having those issues, so I'm just... I'm not trying to jinx myself here, but I'm just happy that it seems to be fixed, because I was about to lose hope that the series was going to be over out of... Uh, with nothing I could do about it. Luckily, that's not the case. All right, we have... We can go back now. Or we could clear the next area and go back on the next day, which I think I will do. Hello there. Uh, what? Oh, Jesus! Holy, those are fast, man. <laughs> they run so fast at all times. They're scary. There's way more of those here. Like, I, I don't think I saw a single one of those in the normal area hear their non-stop i love this sound by the way might be the most calming sound to ever exist the sound of someone walking on snow i love a rain sound too i'm one of those people that listens to rain sounds when they sleep i don't think it's really helping anymore now that i've been doing it for so long that stuff's calming okay this is gonna be a large open area just potentially scary i will also heal I'm still over encumbered. I'm gonna stack all the stuff I already have in here. I can't believe we cleared this so easily. The five and a half star. Boom. And I'll put in this. I'm probably gonna have to leave some stuff here, but at least I'll know it's here. I can come back for it later. Put that there. Alright. No more being overweight. 
we go to dangerous zone. Just walk in here. Okay, we got four hours to clear this. That should be fine. It is outside though, which is unfortunate. This is three. Oh god. There's a pol police guy. Get him before he spits. No! Okay. I hit that straight to the face, but it's fine. Anyone in the toilets? Can I loot this toilet? I cannot loot that toilet. Uh, hello. <laughs> okay, I hate this. Oh. Jesus. No! I didn't get infected, luckily. Okay, these guys are... This is a scary area. If they're gonna put this many fast zombies here. I'm gonna repair my thing. I don't want the... Have that break. We're gonna be swarmed. Oh, no one here? This is suspicious. Uh, these are just the ticket booths. Very well crafted world, man. Like props to the devs. I know that people don't like it when I praise the devs of this game because pe some people are have very hard feelings about these devs or the way they've handled early access but i feel they seem like people that like genuinely care about the game to be working on it for this long like people are like oh they they keep doing new updates so they make more sales but yeah obviously they got to keep working on it so people keep buying it because i think though i think people like misunderstand early access so much they're like they, they people think it's greedy to stay in early access it's actually the complete opposite it's greedy to leave early access early the greediest thing you can do as an early access developer is promise a lot, work on the game for like a year or half a year, and then cut it like halfway or even earlier than actually reaching your goal, stopping development, going into a next game. That is the way you can abuse early access and make a lot of money because you get all the people in early that are thinking, oh, this is going to be the next biggest game. This is going to like change everything in this genre and then uh before they actually like s have too much invested time i don't think i'm doing the right way here why the fuck am i gonna can i open this then you is this a trap no it's just okay this is unlocked you 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 leave and start a new game like that is the that is greedy staying working on a game for 10 years with a large team of people is like quite literally the complete opposite of being greedy uh, what the fuck? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Woo. Holy shit. That was the short quick thinking right there. But I actually did it. Jesus Christ. I didn't even get infected there. Okay, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Woo! That's, that's exciting stuff right there. <laughs> okay, I have a... Uh, this, which I think I need a splint for that or something to get rid of it. But at least we lived. Goodness gracious. That was... Uh, they were just waiting here. The Z fight. Let me get zombie fight. Good God. I'm assuming that was the biggest wave here, or is there gonna be more like that? I'm nervous now. That, like, actually almost killed me. Could have totally killed me. There's something, some loot down there. Uh, this is it! Let's go! <laughs> that was a fun, uh... That was a fun point of interest. Oh, no, we have a chest. Didn't I get a... Oh, wait, can I use this? I can't use that. Why can't I use that? Don't understand. Um, uh, I can break that. I should probably just break that again, because if I leave now... I think I can walk outside, but it is just, like, really risky to do that. Um, walk outside during the night. They give all these books. Finding a lot of the same type of books. I mean, there's, like, hundreds of magazines. Oh, here we go. Robotics crafting skill. I can craft a pipe baton now. You trying to hide that from me? Not on my watch. This is like the safest. Okay, this is. Uh, do I have lockpicks? I have a single lockpick. There's going to be about 0% chance I do this. In yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. And there we go. 
Alrighty, what do you got for me? You got for me not... Oh, a treasure map. A ragged old treasure map I found with some scribbling on it. Read? If you found this note, this may be your lucky day. I've been bitten by one of those creatures and the fever has taken hold. I don't have long, but the least I could do before I turn is help someone, anyone, as God would want me to do if there's still a God. So it, I leave you with this map, the one of my many buried supply chests to a new life, Sarah. Let's go. Okay. Uh, I'll take everything else. All right. I am going to go outside. I know this is risky. Um... But I think as long as there's not like a group of uh, of zombies, I will totally be fine. Oh, it's right there. Wait a minute. Is that in the way I want to go? Wait, that's like literally in the, <laughs> wait, the town where I live right there. Okay. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I'm like in a big town here. These are all large places. Oh, wait, this is sick. Did I go here though during the night? That's a little risky. Oh, I shouldn't jump. Wait, I need to not. Is this what is this disability or this thing? Sprained leg. Further critical hits may result in a broke. Oh, jumping may delay healing. Okay, don't jump then. I can't run though. Oh no, I can't run. Damn, you can't run. You can sprint. You can jump. That's kind of bad considering it's out late at night. <laughs> but we're just gonna slowly walk our way over there, I guess. Evil mountain lion. I've just been walking over here. I also dropped off some of my supplies in the school. I really hate those lions or mountain lions. I need to reload this. And also the gun. So I, if they start running to me, I can load a land a bunch of shots and then start smacking them. Uh, Savage Country. Isn't that a huge... That's a huge convenience store, right? DMB radio station? Man, these places are cool. I'm just gonna clear this whole town. <laughs> and what is that? There's a bakery. I can't run for another two minutes over here. Or I'm gonna make my situation worse. But it's almost four, so we are fine. Is there a way to get in here? Is any of this a bookstore? Because that would be ideal for us. Look at the sunrise. Oh, there we go. This is the entrance. Beautiful sunrise. A brand new day for exploration. I, th I definitely <laughs> like exploration. The, like, people play survival games in in different ways. Some people are massive base builders. I, there was someone in my comments who was like, I really dislike how they changed my playstyle in this latest update. Their playstyle was basically being on a multiplayer server, staying in the house, like in a house, and just, oh god... Building up a base, please die. And crafting stuff for other people that came by their house to buy it or something, like some kind of trader. However, with the new system, you cannot just stay in the house and be able to craft stuff because you have to get books to be able to unlock those crafting recipes. Um, and these books are relatively new. All right, everyone is damn terrible. Uh, I have already read, this is very expensive to sell. I don't think I'm gonna be selling that. But at least for now, we can just keep it on us. Paper. I don't think the paper does much. What even is this? Oh, it's a radio station, of course. Hi there. Uh, you're a crawly boy. Now you're a dead crawly boy. Give me more coffee. Someone else here? Why is the music playing? Come on, 27 seconds and I can start sprinting again, please. How have I explored so many kitchens? And I have not gotten a wrench a single time. I know wrenches can also be in the supply, like the, the airdrops. So maybe I should check those out. However, I just don't have enough time to really go around. Where are they all dropped? Wait. Oh, no. Don't tell me they disappear. Wait, they disappear? Oh, maybe it's because of the crash? What happened? Where'd they go? All right, well, uh, that's unlucky. Maybe I should have picked them up earlier. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Really? Are they gone? I guess they are. All right, well, I mean, that makes sense. That they Didn't one just get dropped? Where did that one drop? Maybe I need to... If you know how I can see which markers... Uh, or how I can see the airdrop markers, maybe I have something disabled or something. I hope that's the case, at least. Otherwise, I don't have any airdrops. Oh! 
Jesus, which is not that bad because I've we've gotten airdrops before that is uh, not very useful. We've gotten airdrops before and I don't give you much. I mean, it probably depends on your loot stage. Like if I got an airdrop in this area. Oh, that's it. Uh, can I break this? If I got an airdrop in the snow zone, maybe it would be worth it. Can I pick that up? Looks kind of cool. It's like a trophy. Hello. Back off. Uh, you are damn hanky, sir. Even with like so many power attacks I had to do there, I did not lose uh, any stamina. It's, I keep getting the same. That is, I don't, that seems kind of stupid. Why do I keep getting the same books over and over and over again? Like there's so many books. Why would it be? Get, I know I didn't expect that when I like if you spec into a specific uh, class and perk. Yeah, I, I like the idea of you getting more of the books that you need for that class. But if you like exclusively get the same few books of that class, you're never going to be able to unlock anything else. So I think that is a little bit strange. The fact that it worked, this seems to work that way because I've seen that same club book. Like, I don't know, five separate times. Uh, don't be a bunch of zombies behind here. Oh, well, there are, but not too many dangerous ones. Get blasted. Do I have any skill points? I do have a skill points. Another strength. Okay, how much do we need for this? Three skill points for 300 more headshot damage. And then we can unlock the final club perk. And we're gonna go crazy. I mean, our club's are already doing so much damage. I will be taking that. Sledgehammer is also probably strength, but I haven't specced into that. I'm up here. I do obviously recognize a bunch of, uh, like they probably didn't create all these assets. Like they're from stores as well. They definitely put them together in a unique way that I haven't really seen. <laughs> I love how far they fly. Are you a zombie? Yes, you are. Well, not anymore. Hello. These are the most dangerous by far. You are now... I have two skill points. I don't think that's enough. I need three skill points for the final strength skill. Anywhere I go down. Go down. Not over there. Did you just throw a snowball at me? What was that? <laughs> or was that just snow particles? Uh, Where do I go? Oh, here it is. I was looking for so long. I was like, where the frick do I go? Oh, I go in here. Uh, hi. You guys are waiting for me. Everyone day everyone be hiding in closets in this game, man. Gotta come out of the closets. It's okay. 2023, man. I mean, probably later at this point. Uh, hello. Bye. Oh, there it is. Easy peasy. Loot. Wait, it was just in here. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't lock that. Okay. Well, you are attacking something else. This is fine. Why are you attacking something else? I don't know. But I appreciate for not focusing me. Okay, you're actually just a normal zombie. I thought you were going to be one of those feral ones. This guy is tanky. -ish. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so much brass. Oh, they disappear. I was slightly concerned there. All right. Well, easy peasy. Another loot pile. Let's see what we get this time. Be good. A steroid is definitely good on the way back uh, from this whole whole ordeal. Uh, oh, brass knuckles. And a tier three for a three pocket mod. That's incredible. We can put that on our... Can we put that on our boots? I would doubt it. Where can this go? Does it say it? It doesn't say where it goes. Uh, can I put that? Obviously, my pants. Can I also put it on my boots? Why would you put boot pockets on your boots? That doesn't make any sense, but I'll take it. Okay. Now we are almost full. Look at that. Beautiful. I've just been lucky finding those. So many books. I already read that one. Oh, my. I spent so many wiring books, man. What do you need with that? Thank you. Can we craft any iron tools soon? All right. Well, that was it. There's a, usually I've been missing that. Like it, on the way out, I am stupid. Because sometimes there's like these things you can click and then all the doors open. 
which allows you to to leave the area like instead of just having to like go the way back you came yeah because now i'm wait i'm going backwards where the hell am i going oh here it's just out the this way okay that's fine hello there uh it's tana already time's been flying when you have fun what's in here lots of radio books i want to check the see what savage country pipe baton quality three is this a bookstore perhaps or is a savage country just a clothing store because that was what it was last time this is actually i think the first point of interest in this entire series we checked out which is was a savage country probably just gonna be closed if it is it's three star and it does seem to be clothes i don't oh it is just open uh, I think I'm gonna go over to one of these instead. Appliance Co. and more. Postal office? That might have lots of books. Uh, did Evan kill you? No. Hit him in the butt. Bakery, that would be lots of food. I could use some food. You know what? We can check this one and then do the postal service. Or we, we could literally do all of them. Crack a book! Never mind, I'm doing this. <laughs> Let's go. Uh... Drink some of this. Sure. Drink it. I definitely need food, but there's probably going to be some food in here. Crack a cafe. Oh. Making scholars feel superior <laughs> since eight since 1874. Oh, there's so many books here. Let's go. This is the place to be. Hi. Bye. Absolutely destroyed. What was that? Wasn't there someone falling here? You in here? You are. No. Dude, the fact that I can two shot even the most strong zombies right now. Obviously, I need to loot all of this, but first I want to check if there's any zombies in here. You know what? This place actually seems easy as hell. I should clear this one if it's like so open. Clear all of it. Uh, is this already the final loot? The back here. Uh, hello. I'm just gonna get the final loot, and I think I'm gonna spend the night, or this night, just looting all the bookstores. Oh. Who's this? Uh, or look at looting the whole bookstore. Because that's obviously gonna take a while just clicking buttons, and then I can just, like, keep all the books in my inventory and show you at the end what I got. I think that's gonna be a good way to spend our, uh, spend our night. Uh, is everything okay? I'll take those. Uh, they're breaking down everything. I can make my... Wait, can I make my bat pink? Okay, you guys just chill, okay? I don't want any business with you. Can I make my bat pink? Important question. <laughs> wait, what? It didn't even get pink, though. Not pink. Same color. Oh, hello there. Hello, friend. Oh my god, sometimes the FPS just goes down the dumpster. I don't know what happens. Oh, hi. <laughs> we need one more level and then we got strength maxed out. Go down there. Ah, thank you for the two lockpicks. I might actually not have to spend the entire day breaking down uh, a chest this time. Uh, oh, hi. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. And shoot you guys. Uh, what are you guys doing? Just blast them all. Okay, I can come over there now. Does it take stamina to shoot? I think it actually does. Hello. Nice. And bye-bye. This is the final area. And there, let's see if we can open this, please. Be nice to me. Come on. Don't break immediately. Last time it broke immediately. If it breaks before halfway, I can't unlock it. Oh, yes. Okay, I think we can do this. Unless I get insane. Unless I get insane. What? <laughs> what a scam. <laughs> fuck I did. Dude, fuck me, man. That's just stupid. All right, well, I guess I can't unlock that. And now I would have to break the whole thing. 
I'm not gonna bother this time. Oh, I can read this. Let's go. Because I got other stuff to do. Uh, other die. Don't really care. The music is so like, God, you're under attack, dude. Take it very serious. Iron quality four already. I didn't even realize it was that far. So this, this you can pick up to open these doors, but I don't want to do that right now because there might be a bunch of zombies on the other side uh, that I don't want to run into. Give me antibiotics. Okay, that's nothing. And thank you. All right, I'm out of here. Let's see how many zombies are around here. I'm fine. I got full stamina, full HP. Oh, they're over. Oh, they were breaking through that gate over there. Okay, so we. Maybe I should try and kill them. That seems I don't want to deal with you. I just don't want to. If I can avoid them, I should. Obviously, we are not done here. The main event is looting all these books. Maybe I should have just left that close because now I can close those doors. Uh, but I am going to explore one more business before we start doing that. There's many zombies. I should clear these. They're going to find me during the night and be absolutely rude. Level up one more time. Hello, guys. You guys spawn so... Is this a... Oh, there's so many zombies. You are freezing? Wait a minute. I was in... Oh, I have because I'm wet. Hi. Okay, I should be careful. I'm probably going to start taking health damage here or take stamina damage. What is this damn sound in the background? Did you hear that shit? Is that the freezing sound? Is this like actually going to just straight up kill me? You go inside. Do I have enough stone? I don't have stone. Uh, I have a... I'm literally holding a flaming bat this whole time. How do I... <laughs> How is this possible? How am I not warm? Can I open these? Thank you. Anyone in here? Hello? I would like to send a letter. Oh. On the outside. <laughs> Can't get enough of them flying away. To give you extra damage when you sprint into someone just blast them away oh, well that's easy this is not a this is a two-star area uh can i level up now yes level 10 strength olympic champion you could be an olympic champion if the apocalypse hadn't crushed that dream now you can just crush zombies deal 300 headshot damage or 300 percent and have 50 percent greater chance to dismember with shotguns everything and tools governed by 69er. That's good stuff. Uh, thank you for more water. I have lots of water. I'm actually kind of running out of food. Do I have any? I have soup. Miso soup. Obviously, I have this. That's not very good. Alright, well, that's not very... That's too good. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't want to take that. Go out here. Any other way to go? Uh, animal fat. No, thank you. Do I go up? I can... Hello? Freaking through walls over here, sir. Where the frick do I go? Oh, here. I didn't see the switch. Okay, there we go. Uh, there's that guy. Can I kill you? I would really like to kill you before the night. Can I just shoot you from up top here? Wait a minute. Oh, fuck. I have to reload. Oh, no! What the frick? Are you there? Wait, you're there? I don't want to... That was easy. Okay, they actually are not that strong as I thought. I mean, I've just fought a bear before in like a single player playthrough and the bear absolutely utterly destroyed me. Like I didn't stand a chance. Uh, do I jump over here? I do. Wait, so these are connected? But those were, oh, hi. Those were different shops. Something stinky over there. Hello? I will be taking all your loot. 
The uh, oh no. <laughs> what the hell is this? Did I think? I mean, yes. I will scrap this because I already have it. Can I just? Why am I getting wire tools and not damn wrenches? Why were you guys shipping zombies? Wait a minute. What is going on here? Oh hello. No no no. This world makes no sense. Hello friends. You guys are so slow. Luckily. Chill. Hello. Uh, I can't aim through the door. Boom. This is a feral zombie. Actually, I should just save my stamina while they break through there. My stamina is going up extremely slowly. There. Okay. This is already the loot zone of this one. That's an interesting... Uh, um... Interesting setup. Two areas that are connected. I was hoping I would get books in the po postal office as well, though. Don't want that. Need coffee? Thank you for the dirty water. You got dirty water, guys. Must be not a wraith or a spirit. Still can't believe they haven't taken that down yet, right? <laughs> From the Spasmo store. It's still just on there. It's been fooling people for four years now. That when you watch the trailer of Phasmo, it says like, Hey, check for dirty water. And then they turn on the sink and then it shows dirty water. I remember for the first like, I don't know, several weeks of me playing it, I would turn on all the sinks and look for dirty water, which is not even a thing. You can't do that. The ghost has to do that. I'm assuming this is just all there is here. Uh, I mean, it, it's loot. There is open the door. Alrighty. Well, it's getting late. Maybe we can quickly clear this. Can we? And then just run over. All we have to do is run over to the bookstore. We should probably clear these zombies that are before it. Hello, friends. I want you guys to be gone. Oops, I am just straight up missed. It's like such a light rain, but my, my wetness is going up like crazy. This one, and then we have the Savage Country, but I don't think I'm going to do that because it's just too much damn loot in there. My loot, my loot fatigue hits when I go to a Savage Country. That was the same way last time, and I, last time I even missed the main loot events. Oh. Ah, leather boots that I don't need, but food that I definitely need. Cat food, eat the peas. We got two hours to clear this. Should be enough, right? We going through the back? Where the frick do we go in? Okay, there we go. Close door behind me. Close zombies. Gotta go fast. I'm speed running. Speed running is probably... Oh, Jesus Christmas. Stop it. What are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck? He's doing a spooky. He's trying to jump scare me, dude. He's crazy. Uh, I should not be looting this right now. I should not be looting this. How many skill points do I have? Zero. Okay. Well, I'm, I only need one to get the pummel skill, right? And then we're maxed out on our damage. Uh, I will take that. Kind of crazy. I'm basically full inventory and I'm not even that much over encumbered. I will just scrap that. Oh, hi. We got an hour. Go, go, go. I need to get to the main loot before the hour is over. Otherwise, we're definitely gonna die there. Ah, uh, hello. Any main loot here? I'm gonna open all the doors. Nope. Just opens this door. Obviously, you guys are in there. Thank you. Uh, we're going down the magazine. These are probably the devs or the, the porters something. Look at all the guns that are on this rack that are not actually on the rack. You liar. You lied to me. How <laughs> did your leg get destroyed? Oh, hello. What the frick? Zombie man or cop man. Why are the cops so fat in this? 
that a dig at cops? <laughs> Made it give, I'm sorry. Made him, what? What is that green? Is that me being? What the fuck was that, brother? Why did you explode? <laughs> I've never seen that before. All right, then. It can explode. I didn't know. Now I do. Okay, is this already the main loot? I mean, I guess it's already started. Should I open this? Yes. It'd be terrible. Hello? Ah, this was a terrible idea. Okay, maybe it's fine. <laughs> Reach game stage 100 achievement unlocked. Let's go. Okay, that was a little stupid. I'm sorry for looking up your skirt. I didn't mean to. I can explain. I'm looking respectfully, Mr. Zombie. Okay, well, that was fine. This is... Oh, I can't even carry this anymore. What the fuck? Okay, what do we not need? We don't need this. Take the ammo, I would say, mostly. This I already have, I think. I don't need the snowball. Are you crazy? I will just read these for the experience. Be able to take some more. Oh, no. There's another gun safe or another one of those safes that I can't open. Read melee stamina. Decrease melee stamina usage by 10%. That's kind of good. I don't think I already have that, though. I remember. Uh, need to thread volume 5. Can I have volume 7, please? Dusters? Sure, I'll read it. I already have this one. I could... You know what? I'm eating a vitamin. Because I have so many vitamins. So that gives me protection against dysentery. And then I eat the... The sham sandwich, which shouldn't give me dysentery. And... I could also drink some of this. It's gonna hurt me a little bit. But I can't get dysentery that way. Some, uh smart tip from the comments last time which if you have any other smart tips uh feel free to share down below because i am just kind of winging it we'll take all this i'm just leaving the rest i don't think this is very useful a gun say this is gonna take a million trillion years i don't think that's worth my thing i think i should just go for the books i will eat this as well finally a use for all the sandwiches i guess that's why i should take the sandwiches now and just like keep them on me so then i can eat them when i take vitamins what the fuck was happening down here wait a minute i just were they doing some human trafficking operation here is that why people are in crates <laughs> wait this is actually fucked up is that why there's all these missing posters as well wait a minute Alrighty, we're back. I don't know what the hell happened. It crashed again after so much time. We were, I thought we were past this, but hey, at least this time it didn't completely wipe my save file because the first time it crashed, I've been la launching the game without easy anti-cheat to try and prevent the crashes. And I thought maybe it worked, but it didn't completely. Um, but it seems like, wait, did I loot everything now? Because I don't know when my save file came back. Because when I first crashed, it literally reset my entire save file, uh, which like completely destroyed all my progress but luckily it hasn't been doing that anymore okay so it seems like i still looted everything all right uh and it is still midnight so yeah i think it literally just saved it all so that's good how do i get out of here oh, i break this aha secrets this is definitely some uh <laughs> they're doing uh a little bit of uh, evil storytelling here okay i need to go to the bookstore now without dying there it is, beautiful bookstore. I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night uh, looting the books in here. And then I will see you as soon as it gets day or as soon as I'm done with that. Alrighty, I've been struggling to get this done because my game keeps crashing, but this is... I don't even know what the hell is going on. Like, it might be the snow area that's crashing it because, like, sometimes we were fine for two hours straight and now it's crashing every five minutes again. I have no idea what's going on. But anyway... These were all the books we found in the bookstore. Let's read all of them. We have two crafting, uh, salvage tool. This stuff I already read. We have two of this forge. What is this? Increased tank size by 50% for chainsaws. Uh, need and thread volume four. I, when I saw that, I was hoping it was going to be volume seven. Sadly not. Explosives crafting. I can craft a grenade now. Club crafting. Is that going to give me something? Nope. Uh, shotgun. That one. 
rifle wiring six tool crafting are you kidding me that's ridiculous can iron tools craft a quality five now i have two of these i guess i should i mean i guess i should keep this to sell potentially this is a new bats and clubs the great 20 percent slower i'll take that and more vehicle crafting skill all right with that we have everything uh from this bookstore i think i want to just speed run out of this area can i take all of this uh take everything out then i am missing something let's see let's just uh i mean they're all worth a little bit i'm just gonna take the experience uh and not really w worry too much about it uh this one as well this one as well there we go okay and now i think i am going to speed run just out of this area i don't want to be here anymore don't know what's causing my crashes hopefully it will be okay over there so let's get the heck out of here Alrighty, I finally made it home, man. Uh, along the way, I crashed five times total. I don't know what is happening in the snow biome. I should stay away from there, at least for a little bit. Hopefully, you're watching this. <laughs> this is like what I'm saying every time, because if you're watching it, then from this point onwards, hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, and look, I took as much stuff, basically everything I could carry with me. Uh, hopefully, everything here is still fine. Everything here is seemingly still fine. Look at that. All right, put everything... Move items to loot containers, all the duplicates. We're just stacking. Look at all the brass, all the things. We have that. Uh, and I got more here. I'll literally just put everything in there. Alrighty, we have done it. I'm going to quickly take a backup here. One sec. Alrighty, there we go. Look at that. So let's see what we got. Oh my god, we have so much of this because I think we also have a full stack here. Yes, can you stack that? 3,200 brass. So we have a bunch of stacks of stuff. I don't really know. How useful any of this stuff is going to be. We don't have much of this. Because it, I that's definitely one of those things that you're going to do wrong in your first playthrough. Not noticing what are the important items and what are the worthless items. Also, uh, I think I actually... Yeah, do I need... Oh, no, it is active. Here we go. It is active. I, I, I thought I was looking at the recording. And I thought I had to actually turn this on. But no, it turns itself on by default. Um, what is... Uh, do we have these things here? Take that out of there, take this out of there, put them in here. So we got our full fire ready, which I don't think I should turn this fire on when I'm not cooking because it will attract. Apparently, there's some kind of heat mechanic. If you turn on a fire or other stuff and you leave it on for too long, it will attract monsters eventually. Uh, I love this house, actually. We might stay here a little bit. We might actually build this into somewhat of a base, at least a temporary base. I think, like, there's no way. We have two more days as well as the rest of this day to prepare ourselves for the horde and i want to do a few things first of all if we can what will be amazing this episode is to get a wrench and i think we can even make a bicycle technically although we're gonna have to get some can we make the bicycle bicycle look at that we can make a bicycle we need a workbench to create the parts for the bicycle though and we need mechanical parts uh and then i don't have to do the quest to get the bicycle um workbench workbench i can't make a workbench i need to be level 10 for that but i can make a forge which requires 50 cobblestone check this is actually quite easy can i track that yeah there we go okay so let's see we need wood we have wood we have wood check then we create a wood log wood log make one okay we need some of this i mean i'll take a little bit uh, we need duct tape. We might not have duct tape, but I think we can. We do have duct tape. Look at that. We have duct tape. We need pipes. Three pipes. <laughs> God, far too many pipes. And then we need cobblestone, which I assume you can just make out of, make out of normal stone. Uh, no, you can't. You need clay soil as well. Okay, well, we have the treasure to dig out outside anyway. Uh, so we should make a shovel. Shovel. And probably make it pretty high level what do i need uh, i need plant fibers which i don't really have let me just jump down here chop chop uh shovel check literally only need a few i'm just i'm gonna dig away from here because i don't think the ground is gonna come back after i dig it chop ah, there we go uh and then cobblestone I need to craft. Oh, oh god. Hi. Crawling over to me. <laughs> Slowly but surely. He's gonna get me. I also learned 
Um, oh good. That I can actually one-shot enemies with a basic attack now instead of having to use the strong attack. Um, so I should be saving a lot of stamina that way. Okay, I have this. I need two or a few more. Boom. There we go. 50. Now we can create 32. Never mind. I need more stone. All right. Well, we got that in here. Um, and then we make a forge, which I think the forge is also going to create heat and attract um, attract enemies. So, yeah, we want to make a forge. Then I want to make a wrench if I can. Um, let me grab more stone and just like make this into somewhat of a base. Because right now it's literally just two chests and a campfire. We want to make this home. I need that. There we go. All right. That's going to go super fast. And there we go. You have obtained all the ingredients for the forge recipe. Forge. Craft. Let's go. We that is that's got to be a, a major milestone right there. <laughs> I feel accomplished at least. I can also make another I can make a stone axe level 5. Oh, I'm going to have to wait for that. Instead of my stone axe level 4, I'll already take out the mods. This does what is it? More damage against stone, I think against stone and this one is against iron which is i mean one of the use cases of this um get rid of it bye bye i don't think you can craft the sixth variant yourself uh and then we place it and then we immediately attract a bunch of zombies oh my god this thing is large large i'm sorry i don't need a couch where we're going get that out of here because the forge is going here. I thought that was my foot for a second. I was like, I don't remember seeing my own feet, but no. This is the body that's in my living room. Maybe I should get rid of that, you know? There we go. Makes it a little bit more comfy in here. And then we place... I can't even place it because of this. There we go. Boom. Oh, whoops. I always forget you have to click, right click instead. There we go. Forge. Now... What do I do with... You can make all of this stuff. You, I can finally make this. Okay, so what do we need to do? I, I would really love, like to have... It's getting night. I think we're just going to spend the rest of the night here crafting. This is... uh, The fun part of these type of games is collecting a bunch of resources and then, like, immediately having everything you need to craft what you want. Although, I see now that I don't have animal, animal fat, which means I can't craft... Oh, no, I do. I do have animal fat. Um, Torch. I would like to craft... Uh, a few torches here. Also need some cloth. Just so we can spice this place up a bit. It takes a while to craft, that's fine. Okay, grab. We already have wood, right, in our inventory? Yes, just put, like, a hundred in here. Turn that bad boy on. I can... Oh, yeah, you can increase the speed of this. Okay, so turn that on. Then, for wrench, we need... Oh, wait, you don't even need to work? Oh, you need forged iron for that. Six mechanical parts? Jesus. I don't even know if I have that. Okay, so forged iron is what we need, which requires iron and clay. That's not bad at all. Um, Because we already have a billion iron. If Yes. Wait, we should have way more than that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. 2100. Let's go. Okay, now before it gets night, I should really go out here. And, uh, you know, we could just run over to the treasure chest. I'm pretty sure the treasure chest is going to be locked if I dig it up. So I will need to have... Um, uh, I will need to have a lock pick to get it open. But at least it's going to be a worthwhile... I, if I'm going to dig anywhere, might as well dig here. Because the chest should be right around here. Yeah, I can see it. It's under the tree. It's going to be in like a large circle. There it is. All right, well, I'm just going to dig for a little bit, and I'll see you in a moment. And there's the treasure chest. Look at that. I also turned up the brightness a little bit because I saw... I So, in order to fix the crashes, I've changed renderer now I I because I was checking through the crash logs because I was like, okay, so it's not OBS. It is the game itself. And uh, one of the things I noticed was that DirectX kept crashing. So, I changed my renderer to Core GL using the launcher settings of this game. Uh, hopefully in order to fix that from happening so far it seems to be doing just fine I've I have not seen a crash since um, 
and apparently that one has a darker way of rendering things i hope it's fine now if it isn't it's going to only be for this part of the video um let me know in the comments down below if there's any significant difference i can see that in the editing but i'm not editing right now i'm playing a video game mom i'm playing minecraft also look at this by the way um i placed these uh building blo building blocks i learned this from a youtube tutorial on the corners of where the circle was initially because every time you dig a few blocks it shrinks the circle to be closer to the actual area around the chest so if you place these initially you see where the circle is moving towards so you can like make faster choices on where to start digging so yeah i knew that i had to move this way and then I found the chest. So the chest is indeed locked. I cannot get that. But I have gotten 1,200 um, soil along the way, which was basically why I did this. So yeah, this was an efficient way of digging. Uh, it is also in the middle of the night, so I do have to be careful. But yeah, we're going to have to come back here later. Or we could spend the rest of the night hammering down on this chest. But I have better things to do. Uh, so now let's head back over. I should have probably turned off the forge. That is totally on me. Um, let's turn that off ASAP. Oh yeah, the forge is still running. Oopsie daisy. Uh, at least it doesn't take much fuel. Okay, so let's see. We can now make forged iron. Can we? Wait, I can't. Do I need a specific thing for that? Oh, I need to put it in here. I see. Well, I mean, I should probably not turn everything <laughs> into this. Uh, it's slowly updating. What is happening? Oh, it's like... Wait, what? Smelting? Oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing? Wait, what? How does this work? Um, okay, wait. Maybe I do put it in? I put it in here. It slowly adds it into the machine. Okay, interesting. <laughs> like, you slowly funnel it in through the top. Uh, it seems to be do. It can do two things at once. I don't need this much soil in here, but okay. Um, we need how much of this? We need a wrench. Let's just have that run for now. We need a wrench... Which, I'm just learning this, by the way. You're, you're like, you're being suboptimal. You're not doing this in the most optimal, fast way possible. Yes, I am not, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. We need four, we need 18 of this, and we need duct tape. Well, while this is running, which I'm just going to let that run for a while. Um, do we even have uh, that much duct tape or that many mechanical parts? We definitely don't have that many mechanical parts, which is kind of annoying. You need to get, oh, I have four already. Um, that's good. Okay, so we have two mechanical parts there. No mechanical parts here. I don't remember how many there were over there. I should have really taken the mechanical parts if I had any. Can I get those from just breaking cars? I might be able to. I would need six for a level two one and four for a level one one. I might just go for the level one version. We need duct tape. Duct tape. I love crafting in these games, man. One glue and some cloth. We have glue, right? We have more than enough glue. Okay, so the duct tape is not going to be a problem. We'll craft two of that. Because we already had one, if I remember. There it is. Okay, so that's done. I should also keep this on me because I need to repair my thing. I don't think I need this. Use. It only gives me slight dysentery. Uh, where do I drop this? Is there like a way to burn something? I'm just going to throw that on the floor. Hopefully, eventually it'll disappear. I don't know. I could have put it in my chest. Whatever. Um... Okay, stack this all back up together. How are you doing? I need to start this process. So I need 14 of this. All right, I'll start this. It only takes a minute to craft this. That is so fast. I was expecting that would take forever. I wish you could set it to like, put this in and then set it to like slowly craft as many as you need. This is providing me nice light. It's already getting four. Dude, the time is flying. <laughs> oh, no. We can make some black strap coffee, can't we? Don't we have coffee or did I drop? Oh, I didn't take the coffee. I mean, I didn't know what I was doing when I was looking at those chests over there. We can always come back there. But I did take, like, literally 80% of all the stuff in the chest. Like, I was surprised by how much I could take. I should also take my bullets out again because otherwise I can't fire my weapons. Uh, we're doing good with this. The forged iron is getting done. I guess I should look. Let me quickly see if there's any easy ways to get mechanical parts. Okay, so it turns out you can't really get them. Uh, I know there's two more in the snow biome, but you can also buy them from the trader. And we have a lot of stuff we need to sell to the trader anyway, like all this armor right here. We have money anyway, so we're just going to go over to the trader and see if we can buy... Uh, those mechanical parts that we need. We would like to buy four, as many as we can. Anything else we would like to sell? I think I'll sell that. 
I don't I saw the money, right? That's what you sell. I think I shouldn't sell stuff. If I have it in my chest here where they're safe and sound, I shouldn't start selling parts like that that I don't know what they even do to begin with. Even though this is 1200. Can I like see what the recipes are with military armor parts? It's not like something I will be really happy to have later. That's all I'm saying. So I think we're just gonna sit on that and just sell these four here plus the money I already have. How expensive could it be? And may we could even do a quest, but I should probably start running over there. Maybe clear out my inventory before I do that. Drop this stuff off so I don't have that on me. I am going to put all my iron in this. I don't feel like that's a good idea, actually. Let's take half of it out. Half's gonna go in, half the clay, just to, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know how much you need for that. Uh, there we go. All right, I'm gonna run over to the trader. Trader is not too far from us, a little far. And then I could also check that chest right there. Yeah, all right, give me a sec. What the hell are these guys doing here? <laughs> There's just a bunch of... <laughs> Uh, a bunch of radioactive suit guys hanging out. Look at that. I can now one-shot them with just a single slap rather than my power attack. And every time I kill someone, I get 30 stamina back. This seems borderline busted. I should have drank something. That's on me. Wait, really? It says... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On killing... You see that it's delayed? Wait, there's, like, soldiers around here now. Excuse me? Sir? Okay, these are stronger. Get blasted. I am now level 20. Now, what's our game stage here is now 45. Look at that. There's my beautiful little hut. Remember from night one <laughs> when I just, well, I don't think this was night one, but one of the first nights I just had to build this to hang out. And that's where I left my grill like an idiot. Okay, what do we have? We have four mechanical parts for ourselves. All righty. <laughs> Thank you, old me. I'm just going to take everything. Take everything. I mean, I guess we don't even need to buy it. I So I could also take the grill here. Just, I'm never planning to come back here. Uh, might as well just scrap that because we already have it. And then see what they are selling in the trader. How do the traders survive the blood moon, huh? Are they also fighting? Can they be killed? That'd be interesting. Hello, sir. What can I get you today? I would like to see your inventory. How much does this sell for? 200? That's good stuff. 300. I mean, I don't need this, right? Because I have better... Let me just make sure... I already sold it before I even check. Yeah, we got six here, four there, and... I just sold, like, two different chest armors didn't i yeah six iron chest armor did yeah, we got so much good loot there we got four iron leg armor six of the chest um and i will be selling you the rest as well this one yes i got two thousand now and then i also want to sell you the money why would they want that but sure there you go and i guess i'll sell this one because i don't think i'll really be using that and that's basically all okay what do you sell to me let's see we have needle and thread volume seven. The working man or woman can never have enough pockets. Learn how to craft clothing double pocket mods, which will give me a th three additional inventory slots. That does seem worth it, but that's basically all my money. Maybe I should just like, cause I'm fine the way we are right now. I should just like loot that myself. Um, I already have six mechanical parts, right? So I don't need that. Hubcap landmine, dude, you sell so much stuff. It's hard to see. Play your vending machine. <laughs> Grandpa Ferg. Oh, yeah. Why do, by the way, isn't there a vending machine around here? Because if we can have a... Uh, I'm going to check his inventory more in a sec. But if we can have a uh, XP elixir for the, for the Blood Moon, that's going to be a big deal. This is just player stuff to interact with a vending... Is there no vending machine? You're not selling me stuff? I was hoping there would be one. I guess not. Maybe in the thing itself, and I just didn't see it. Or on the outside, maybe. Sure, I'm willing to spend my hard-earned money here, but you don't provide me with the means. There it is. Okay, vending machine. Uh, that's just food. Grandpa's awesome sauce. This is bartering. I don't think that's going to be useful. I could just buy some water, but that seems a little ridiculous. Okay, so there's no... There's Mega Crush, which allows me to walk faster, but there doesn't. there's no... Uh, like experience elixir that's fine okay sir um i would like 
Lucky go is this a better one? I have a better one than this one. My lucky goggles are better. So that's a good one. What is this? This forge smelting speed plus 50%. Mining helmet. That's expensive as shit, though. Ledge hammer. Water filter. I could. Oh my god, that's expensive. I could buy that and get a dew collector. So I have water production for myself, but that's also all my money. That does seem like a good way to spend my cash, though. You know what? Or can I buy a bicycle? Can I buy bicycle components? Can I buy spring from you? Because I know I need spring for bicycle components. I wish there was a better background to this because I can barely see. Do you sell spring, sir? Spring. You do not sell spring. Okay, that's fine. Do you even sell mechanical parts? I'm glad I had them already because you don't even sell them. <laughs> All right. I could buy Needle and Threads Volume 7. I could buy some of this. Um, I, sorry for being in the size of... I think I'll go this. I think I'll do this. And then needle and threads we'll get another time because uh, if we find an extra extra water filter that's fine we'll just build another dew collector but if we find needle and threads volume 7 we spend fifteen thousand or 1500 for no reason right uh there's zombies out here i'm gonna help you out hello bam this is this blood moon is gonna be very interesting i'm just gonna like swing my way through all the zombies uh we just obviously need to rebuild our uh, our base, but that's not gonna be too hard. All right. Well, let me sprint over there What the heck is this thing? Oh, this is nitrate powder. All right. I'll take that I've never seen that before. I don't even know what that's useful for but maybe I'll be thankful later. There's another airdrop Okay, can we actually finally get one of those? It's so far dude. Why are you all the way out there? You too far away, man. I don't have that time. It's already, look, we literally, all we did today was walk over. That's the thing. That's why I need a bicycle. I need to get myself a bicycle. Um, I don't have the springs, but if I have a wrench, I can. Oh, there you can see it fly. Look at that. If I have a wrench, that's kind of net. nice. If I have a wrench, I can dismantle cars, dismantle beds for springs. Uh, because in order to buy the, or make the bicycle, you need the bicycle, which is, or this thing, which requires three spring, this thing, which requires three spring. Uh, which that hopefully shouldn't be too hard, maybe. <laughs> Alrighty, home sweet home. First thing first, I need to eat. I need to eat, so I also got some eggs because I wanted to try. Can I make bacon and eggs? I can make bacon and eggs. First, gotta light the fire. This is gonna create a lot of heat, though. Uh, but that's fine. Cook a bacon and eggs. This takes a minute to make. All right, sure. And then do we have any water in here? I don't have my vitamins active anymore, but I kind of just want to drink the stinky water because it takes forever to cook the normal water. Let's take just one vitamin. Because I don't think it even gives more water because it's all the same. Water. Does regular water give more water than the murky water? Probably, right? I shouldn't really do that. All right, water. Uh, it's gonna be useful for the blood moon anyway. Let's just craft all of it 20 minutes, huh? <laughs> 20 minutes for that. So how do we make the dew collector? Dew collector that takes one water filter check small. Okay, this is easy. We just need some duct tape Just need some my inventory is a freaking mess. I'm sorry duct tape. We need four of that craft and then Do I should just track these and then we need polymers Polymers check. Uh, what? How do I not have more polymers? I swear I had a full... I swear I had like an, a, a, a massive amount of that. Alrighty, well, uh, we could just get those from uh, basically anything in the house. Most things... Wait, why are you back here? Alright, <laughs> wait, why does this keep respawning? I'll take it. Infinite loot in my own house. OP, I will be reading that. Thank you. A headlight. We'll put that on our car, potentially. Murky water. Uh, take that. I'll eat that, even though I'm already hydrate dehydrated. The medical supplies. And empty. Yeah, it's only the crates that keep respawning. I don't know if that maybe it's because of the crashes. I could see it be because of the crashes. I mean, if I get some reward for my game crashing 100 million times, I'll freaking take it because it's been mostly just absolute pain. Um, can I... Anything made of plastic here? Oh, yes, this. See, that gives a little bit. Chop, 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 chop. That's already a ton. That's prob... That might actually give me plastic, yes. 
and then lamps i think i'm just gonna go to the neighbors real quick uh to get some plastic but before i do that i should probably eat you got any food for me you got the bacons or bacon and the water how much does this give wait let's see that is 36 i mean sure <laughs> and then uh, you need to drink so much man let's uh store everything that's already here oh look at that beautiful that's so much meat i should really be cooking some meat i mean it's gonna take forever can i make grilled meat i can make grilled meat i will make like plenty of that <laughs> 25 minutes all right well this is gonna be busy for a while uh that's fine is this even gonna last that long it's not even gonna last that long that's okay though put that in there got a lot of cloth though at least i can't believe i don't have the scrap polymer we do have this let's see wrench we can do we can do a collection run wrench we have six mechanical parts check duct tape we already have that right or did it just auto stack it auto stacked right there we have the duct tape and then we need all the iron from here which is 11 as of now and there was more in here sorry for my messy inventory management i apologize uh i would like three more right that takes no time at all and then we can make it we have ourselves i'll take the level two wrench Maybe wasting the mechanical parts isn't great, but maybe it's going to give me a little more. Who knows? All right. Take me to give me these. I should also put this away. Headlamp. We have three wheels, though, right? Three wheels. So we can craft because I think we need a, two wheels for the bike as well. Do we need two wheels for the bike or do we only need one wheel? You do need two wheels. Good stuff. All right. This is done. Here we go. It's craft for the wrench time luckily you don't need a tool uh or a workbench for this is it gonna rain or is it already night it's just gonna rain okay if it rains that takes two minutes to do Alrighty. well anyway let's uh drop this off drop that off don't need that right now grab polymer i'll keep it on me just so i can see and then we're gonna go to the neighbor see if they got any any scrap oh god don't break your legs please i should really be drinking more huh Maybe they got something in their house, but there should be a few more water that's done here. Uh, yes, three water. Glug, glug. I'm not scared of any of the zombies here anymore. Like, after facing the wrath that was Snow Biome, I think we'll be totally fine. Whatever happens here. That's probably not going to be made of plastic should be fine uh this might be made of that's made of metal is this this made of wood can i even break this it's made of iron apparently Got this door's locked chair nope real i'll take i'll just take literally everything if i'm this close to home i don't know if i can wait can i use my wrench my wrench is not done yet uh how was this here did people die over i'll take that more food Thank you. Actually, I'll just eat that. That's uh, any plastic. This is plastic, right? Or is this just cloth? It's just cloth and wood. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? That scared the shit out of me. You guys are sneaky, man. You guys do be sneaky. Are you in the ceiling? You taking that? Uh, let me let me guess. We've been if i open a freaking thing now and i find a wrench i'm gonna lose my mind i've been spending a million years what the fuck how did you do that while sitting down is it the shuffle hello that's kind of impressive am i doing this the wrong way around because the light is pointing the wrong way dude everyone is so weak blasted so many cars that I can dis dismantle here. I'll be taking that. My wrench should be done, right? Yes. Wrench is done. Uh, I don't think I even really care about this knife anymore, but I'll put it right there. Okay. Can we stop destroying my car? This is for me to dismantle. Why is there so many enemies? Dude, everyone's so... I have, like, infinite stamina as long as I keep killing them. Because it regens my stamina. Is this, like, a horde? Uh, oops. I think I didn't even kill that guy. 
Um, you do have to hit them in the head because I have like massive headshot damage. Hello. Boom. Boom. I could do like uh, some super Rambo. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea, but I feel like I could potentially survive a blood moon while just running around. I don't think so, <laughs> but it would be funny. Okay, we have our wrench. Let's see. So I can... I got a mechanical part immediately. I see. You get a special animation. Okay, this is an insane... So you can only get these if you just destroy the car with your... Um, manual thing. You... Out of stamina. With your with your hammer or your axe or whatever, you don't get any of this. Look at that, you get springs from this? Okay, this is incredible. <laughs> it does cost a lot of stamina, but I am happy with my wrench. It's t I you can also just find a wrench in a sink, by the way. Like, or you can I guess I could have also found it in a um in an airdrop. I should have maybe looked. Can I dismantle this? This give me this gives me other parts. Okay, <laughs> let's go, man. This is this is amazing. Wrench MVP. I don't know how I just destroyed that and fixed the wall that I was attached to. I guess I should look for beds now. Uh, this as well. More robotic parts. I think that's it. that's what that is. It's cost an insane amount of stamina to use. I could wait a minute. I should probably do this. Because I have skill points, right? Um, mother load? Harvest more resources. Is that from... You found your first small vein and envy. Harvest 20 more percent from ore. Okay, that's not with this. How do I get more resources? Maybe intelligence? Off of uh, dismantling things? I wouldn't know where to even start looking. <laughs> uh, robotics inventor. Parkour, gunslinger. It's fine, I guess. I have two points, though. We already ma Wait, we didn't max this out. Boom. Look at that. We have now maxed out Pummel Pete. Uh, and we will be destroying ass. Left and right. What does this give me? Gotta give me some kind of part, right? It, uh, it gives me more mechanical parts. We're not gonna be in need of any more mechanical parts ever. Okay, I'm glad that worked out the way it did. There's probably some veterans out there watching this that are going to be real annoyed how lucky I got for everything to turn out so perfectly. But hey, I'll take it. As someone who doesn't know what they're doing and are just making it up on the fly, I'm happy it worked out for me. Is there a bed out here? Oh, almost fell. Like you fell. Oops. Oh, die. This should give... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't waste that should give me i don't know if, yes there's springs in there so we need six springs for a bicycle i should be crafting more forged iron right now i think are we really i feel like spending my 14th day just making sure the base is fine we got there so many springs just from destroying the bed man this is amazing the wrench to, i understand okay i so if you have been watching the series you know that when we played with cj and psycho there was this whole the wrench arc uh, where people kept complaining to me, you gotta get a wrench, you gotta get a wrench. You need to get a wrench so you can destroy the sinks. Uh, they didn't care to explain me that I could also just destroy the sinks by just clicking them. Um, I, I was under the impression that I needed a wrench, so I kept trying to look for a wrench, didn't find one. Um, and we basically wasted a whole bunch of time looking for a wrench that we didn't need. However, now, after seeing this, I understand... Oh, I didn't get enough polymers, but that's okay why people said i needed a wrench because it is damn good i will okay so the iron is in here i will be crafting let's see how much do i need i want to get a bicycle man bicycle bicycle oh but i need the workbench for that which for that okay the workbench is gonna be the bottleneck here i just realized uh seven iron that's all we really need plus workbench oh no we need seven for that yes yeah, so let's craft seven already because we know we're going to need that later. And then... I'm creating so much heat. There might be something bad happening soon. At least we got the mechanical parts now. That's not going to be a problem anymore. There's springs, mechanical parts. I think I should... Scrap this for brass. Store all of this in here for now. Boom. Dude, beautiful. 
that's the good stuff can we make some coffee there's so much to do so much to do so little time i wish you could pause the game while looking at the crafting menu because i feel like it's i mean i guess it's just it's immersive right time is moving past how do i get a workbench faster i mean i guess i could go back to the guy and see if i can buy i should have looked if i could buy if, if i could have bought some workbench how have i not found these yet um because i need the workbench books I've been trying my 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 best to find it. At least if I get all the recipes or all the materials required. I guess I already have all the materials required for the bike, right? Um, I have duct tape is easy. Leather is easy. Mechanical parts is easy. Everything here is easy. We got the springs. We got the mechanical parts. We can now craft because we already have the bicycle. We can craft a bicycle as soon as we find two more workbench books. And then we can start really going around the place. Uh, I can't even go to the trader because it's not going to matter. I kind of want to just spend this night dismantling a bunch of neighbor or a bunch of cars. Maybe get a wheel that way. Because um, there's all these cars out here. And then we'll spend the 14th day sh making our base stronger. I'm just going to spe speed through this. Oh, we also get polymers from this. So give me a sec. I should probably also loot this beforehand, though. Let's I don't know. I don't need that. Um... Keep taking that. Don't know if these respawn, but we'll find out. And it's almost morning, and I have so much stuff. <laughs> Look at that. I found this as well. The common part for vehicles or generators. We got 47 mechanical parts, 9 electrical parts, 6 headlights, a bunch of oil, a bunch of fuel, so much iron. So yeah, that was a pretty good haul. I think I'm going to stop with that for now. There's a few more cars here and there to dismantle but we don't I, i'm gonna keep that car on my porch just because i don't know makes it feel like home uh makes it look nice let i don't know if i can dismantle the lock on the treasure treasure chest maybe uh i doubt it i think i just need lock picks for that which can you actually craft lock picks that would be nice lock picks you can if you have a workstation high level the heist, you can craft them in bunches of 50. What does this cost? Oh, this just costs a full mechanical part. I mean, we need more level in that skill anyway. Okay, so it's day 14, which means time has been flying. And I should probably turn this off now. So we don't create more heat here. This is still going to be going for a while. More than enough water now, which is nice. Also need to drink that because I need to drink and eat before the thing because I don't want to have uh what is this buff by the way if you're close to, I guess that's just a heat up buff that you're warm you're at the warming fire I see okay so more than enough <laughs> of the parts uh I will put this in here I don't know if I ever brass objects can be scrapped into brass in your backpack or smelted in a forge as a core resource um actually don't I have these in the other chest how do you even Boom, stack that. I don't need more of the murky water. How do you even make a car? Can you just make a car? <laughs> uh, wheel? You can make a wheel yourself as well. That's... Oh, yeah, a bottle of acid. I have one of that. So that is, actually, that is apparently a really important resource that we're going to have to... I think you can dismantle stuffing that gives you that. There's so much. The whole world is open for me now. Uh, do collector. We have enough now, right? Do collector. We have a hundred polymers over here. Check pipes, duct tape, and the water filter, which is over there. Boom. Obtained a recipe. Okay, so that will give us water over time. Just placing it outside. Don't know if it require. Actually, let's just place it on our. Um, on our porch here so it won't take damage from the zombies that are inevitably going to attack us let's see it oh my god that thing is large <laughs> i did not expect it to be this big okay maybe it doesn't fit here uh i think i need to destroy that okay right can i get rid of this also my wrench is almost destroyed i think i need iron for that as well or forced iron to repair it i mean this was definitely worth it can i place it I cannot place it. Is it because of this? Or can it just not be placed on a on a foundation like this? That wouldn't really make any sense now. Wait, what? What is it inter colliding with? 
All right, I guess I'll place it on the floor then, but I'm kind of scared that it will be destroyed by the zombies. If I just place it far away from my base, like what if I... Okay, so I can't place it on the ground. I guess I just can't place it over there. I don't know if I should redo the barriers around the house. I don't think those were really that useful. I'll just place it in front here. Hopefully they won't just walk over there and destroy it. And then this is going to slowly collect water over time. Three max, so I'll have to come by here every time, pick up some water. That's going to resolve our water issues. And then we can mostly spend our fire on just... Um, I'm going to repair all of the, Oh, I need wood or stone for that. Uh, on just making food instead of water. So we can have a bunch of grilled meat. Eat that. That also gives you stamina, doesn't it? Or like sprinting for seven minutes? Doesn't give you much food, to be honest. That's a little pathetic. But whatever. I will put this in here for now. My chests are in need. If you... This is one of those things I am just not... <laughs> I am not very good at... Uh, setting up my inventory in a, in a meaningful way. I just tend to make or keep stuff very messy. Uh, put this stuff... At least I got this button, though. Is there a shortcut for that? Don't know if there is. Let's drink some... Or let's make... Let's prepare for the... For the apocalypse that's about to arrive. We need coffee beans. We need water. We need gunpowder. We have gunpowder. We can make this. We can make the black strap coffee. Three of it total. Wait. Oh, no. I need to make that out of fire. I'm going to cancel you real quick. I can also make a grenade <laughs> if I have a workbench. Why is taking getting a workbench take so fucking long? Uh, black strap coffee. This gives me cooking pot required. I have that. This should give. Oh, this takes so long to craft. This should give me increased stamina regen. I don't need all this meat. What else do we need? Obviously, we need to repair. So we need wood, which we already have wood. Yes, I might not have enough. Can I just right click these to repair them? So if you didn't see last time, this could use some work. This was a bit of an annoying area, uh, but from here on out, it works amazingly. It was just like stand over here, have them blocked. So this is my strategy. I open these doors. Uh, they will walk up to the doors. I will hit them. There were only a few crawling zombies that were kind of annoying. But yeah, you can see day 14. It's lit, lit up in red. Um, so I'm not, I don't think I'm even gonna bother with this here. Because this one was, like, way too janky anyway. Uh, they, they came up. They, they, they did that totally fine. Can I, do I need to repair any of this? I guess I should repair that one. Boom. Can I even upgrade this? I need cobblestone. Wait a minute, that's not too hard. Uh, cobblestone. Cobblestone rocks. I need clay and small stone. Uh, I'll take half... Uh, and then I can upgrade this as well. I'll just craft. Can I craft 100? I can craft 100. It takes to go so fast. Um, repair any more. Because these corners, they hit the corners. I can also upgrade that. Yes. They're never going to break through. All right. It's going to take a lot of cobblestone to do that, though. And then we... Can I repair this? I can. Instead of just rebuilding it. That's neat. I probably can make stronger versions. So that one is good. Then we have the other hatch. Wooden hatch. I'll craft. I'll craft a few more. Like five more. There are these guys. So set this up here. I think this is fine. And I should actually make these into the double. Because the nice part about having a double is that one of them will break before the other, obviously. And then you know you're about to have to back off to the next one. Let's see. This one is like that. I'll put one uh, over here. I have so many resources, dude. <laughs> We're absolutely killing it. Perfect. Um, I guess I could literally just... There's no reason to have a space in between, right? This one, that one. This one opens up like that. Boom. They're gonna point towards me. There we go. Okay, now obviously... Obviously, I need to fill this up. So, that, here we go. We're just gonna keep backing off. There might be... <laughs> This is so cheesy. Let me know. Is this too cheesy for you guys? Am I the cheese master? Should I stop making so much Gouda? Uh, I feel like this is... This is like RimWorld strats. I love RimWorld, by the way. If you ever want to see a playthrough of that, let me know. Is there Twitch integration for that? There's prob there probably is some Twitch integration. 
It's just really neat how you can set this up so easily. Obviously, we're going to close all this off. And then if they do get to here, we can jump down and then start going Rambo down, down below. Although I hope that won't be required. Uh, we need some blocks. We had a few blocks. Need to craft a whole bunch more blocks. Uh, I could just craft cobblestone blocks so I don't even waste the wood at all. That is... Ex okay, never mind. That is way more expensive than I thought. I should only craft a few of those. Uh, let's craft 50. That's a ton of resources. Uh, while that's crafting, I think I'm going to chop down a few trees back here. Just to uh, get some extra wood. Uh, hello, friends. Uh, is there a horde up here? What's going on? Your arm is gone? I can't hit that. They actually, like, genuinely have the high ground. Um... Okay, there was definitely some kind of horde here. Luckily, it doesn't matter because all of them die in one shot. Even even if I like barely hit their head, they just fall over and die. <laughs> nice. Alrighty. Well, um, that is why I wish I could have gotten one of those experience elixirs because the amount of zombies we should we should actually note this down. Five hundred seventy-one zombie zombie kills. Oh, game stage is so high. Forty-eight. I don't think that's going to be high enough to get, like, those explodey zombies yet. I wonder if I should... I don't think I should even bother with the with the spikes around the base. Like, these stones are so strong. If they really are going to just target them, it'll take them so long. I'm assuming if you destroy, like, three blocks, the house is not going to fucking explode. So they would have to, like, basically break down the whole lower layer before everything comes crumbling down. I don't think they will ever be able to do that. No matter how hard they try. Do I have more hatches? I do not have more hatches. I do have my building blocks now, though. Craft another hatch. Uh, and then, boom. This is the first one, and then we just go down here. I could move... You know, I should probably move these just to have a little bit more. Give me a sec. Like this here. I can also put my robotic turret over there but i don't know if the zombies are going to target it and i don't want it to die but i guess if i'm not using it to fight the zombies then why would i have it so yeah beautiful this is just a whole hallway of <laughs> zombies cannot go through here uh now we need to fortify it uh starting off with making a door here door can i craft my own door i craft a wooden door can i craft an iron door i need 10 forged iron i mean might be good here. Can I make 10? I can make 10. Don't know if that... I think that's worth it, right? We'll make that so we can make a door here that leads into the rest of our base. And then this is just all protected from the zombies. Well, I think I'll do it like this. And then have the door be there. So it's not even like in the way at all. So they won't destroy it. And then I will upgrade these... Just because that leads to my... Like, these corners might get hit. Because they're just going to be swiping. These also, but destroying those doesn't matter. Like, here, it's going to be bad. Because this is going to be into my base. Uh, I think I will do these as well. Oh, do I have enough? I do. Just to have the whole, like, doorway be protected. There we go. So then they can't go through there. And if I have enough cobblestone, which I should, should be easy to get... I just need to do more mining, uh, especially if I get some points at the mother load. It's going fast, by the way. I just realized how fast the time is going. Uh, we got the coffee. I need to craft more of this. Really, I should probably be looking into better cooking recipes. Uh, okay, so that's good. We need to continue building here. They're not going to be breaking through. I'm assuming this is just supported by the wall, so it's not, like, any fragile at all. Will be, can I destroy this? Okay, luckily that's not too... These, some of these walls are really weak, but, like, the floor, look at that, 5,000 hit points. My hallway of death over here. <laughs> the hallway of death. Uh, I should probably... Can I just build this door? Oh, yeah, that totally works. Uh, sorry, paint. Sorry, kitty, that felt bad. Uh, this one. Goodbye. There you go. Oh, never mind. Another kitty. So many kitty pictures. Uh, the hallway of death has been completed. 
They're just gonna come up here. They're gonna get absolutely smacked. And then I could always jump down for a heroic final effort if I have to. We still got a few hours left. Let's see what we do with that time. Uh, just put our in stuff in our inventory or in our chest. I have this. I have the coffee, which gives me stamina regen 25%, which is going to be good. We can take this as well for health and stamina bonus. I don't know how crazy it's going to be. And I should craft a better shotgun because I think I have... I have shotgun. I can craft a level five one. I need glue. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's going to have more, like, and it hold more ammo as well. Because if it doesn't, then it's kind of pointless. Like a better magazine. Because it can only hold one right now. I guess it's only a one barrel shotgun. So probably not, but it could come in in a pinch. We will, we need to get glue. Do I have glue? I have five glue. Need to make one more, which I think requires water. Ooh, if I could type. At a campfire, you need bones and water. Interesting. Is that not a real recipe? Um, all right, glue. Oh, I can also craft it in my inventory. Wait. Oh, no, I, I have to craft it over here. All right, sorry, you're going away again. I need literally only one, so it's not going to be too big of a deal. And then more grilled meat. Okay, we should eat some of this. One? In all that time you crafted one? This shit takes forever. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I mean, we're gonna eat the soup, right? It's gonna be our... Uh... It's gonna give us extra stamina as well. Okay, there we go. We got glue. And then pipe shotgun. Really just do that. Pipes, obviously. And some wood. And then we'll see. Probably not going to be too much better, but hey, we, we, we leveled up in shotgun. Might as well use our skills and take off the, as a flashlight, it's going to have more modification slots, right? Because it's a higher level. You can just be sold later or something. Let's see. It probably only has one magazine. It just takes so long to reload. Yeah, I, I should like have a better reload skill or something. Um... Alrighty, we can modify two modification slots. So we can put in a flashlight. We don't have to worry about that. And then I think I had, did I take that? I didn't take the thing, but I had like that one thing. I think I can make that the mod. What was that? Like this one shotgun. Uh, this one would be interesting. Like where you spread it out. So you have more AOE. Cause that's the one thing I don't have at all. I don't have any AOE defense. I don't think I even really have anything that can go on this. I should be looking into crafting better. Oh, the thunder. Four hours. Should be looking into crafting better, uh, like, armor and stuff. Even though my armor right now is totally fine. It's a little beat up here and there, but... Can I see my armor writing? With that loot stage, 43. Wait, why is it lower than my game stage? I thought that was related. Uh, longest life, by the way. Four hours, nine minutes. Right now. I would like this. 17. I didn't mean to make that much, but okay. I'm going to turn this off for now. Just going to leave you keep running. Uh, and then not have all this stuff on me if I plan on doing something stupid. Find mil finding a million zombies. Uh, what was I doing? I forgot what I was doing. This is my life. <laughs> Let's get rid of this. Uh, this thing. Track and on track. Uh, I was crafting a door. That's what I was doing. I got to do that fast. Iron door. We need 10. I put it away. Boom. Can I? I'm assuming I can open this door just fine. That takes a minute. I'm glad I started that now. Okay, we block up that door. Uh, put away everything we don't need. We already, we should drink. Just eat this now. Because it's going to last a long ass time, right? Or is it only, oh no, it's literally only for it. Is it only for the duration of this, or is it that seven-minute thing? I'm assuming it's that seven-minute thing, so that's going to last for at least a little bit into the thing. Then we'll drink this when we get to it. Uh, I will... I don't... I mean, actually, this might be useful. I don't think the <laughs> wrench is going to be useful during this. I will place this over here to just test. I can always pick it up. Can I place it? Um. Okay, I cannot. 
and place it right there. But can I stand on top of it? I can't stand on top of it. I don't think that's going to be too useful. Let's just start, start that here. We can figure out like a better configuration for this later. It's we're counting down. Um, I will. I should probably hold on to these. Put the wrench away. We got our ammo. We don't even have uh, gun ammo. Where? Oh, there. I was, I was scared that I lost it. I could put this on. I can also take a vitamin so we don't have to deal with any uh, uh, infection or anything during the thing. And then I'll drink this when we get close to it. We're fully fine. We have our repair kits for in case our weapon gets damaged. Uh, I could potentially repair this, but I think that costs that. I don't think I need it. Uh, we have just leveled up. I should put a torch down over here so I can see. Put a torch. Let's put a few torches around. Beautiful. <laughs> I I really like this setup. Uh, it's, it's, it's cheesy, of course, but fun as hell. Now we place the door. Uh, and I place it like that. I'm assuming this is going to be able to be opened. Yes, there we go. All right. Well, that should more than defend uh, that passageway so no one can get into the house obviously i could um uh, like defend this a little better but i think i don't think they would just like why would they randomly want to get into the base that's fine okay we're almost there one more hour get ready gamers i'm gonna quickly take a backup just in case it crashes here all righty here we go so far it hasn't crashed by the way since i made that change so i'm really hopeful that the change ended up fixing the whole issue entirely i could take this as well Damage mitigation for six minutes. I don't know if you can stack buffs like this or if it's like gonna override each other. I guess only one way to find out. Let's take this one. Damage mitigation because I'm gonna take a few hits here and there. Does that stack? It does add a new buff. And then I'm gonna take this one closer to the actual event. I don't think I need water. I mean, this is gonna be water as well. We're good. Did I reload this? I should reload this. Uh, we're gonna close that. I don't think I need to do anything. Obviously, I need to open these when we get to it. But, uh, bring it on, zombies. What you got for me? <laughs> Let's see it. We got lots of HP. We actually still have the extra stamina, too. Which I think is gonna last for quite a while. Uh, and then shit's gonna hit the fan. Hopefully, I didn't get the... Well, I didn't do it on purpose. To build a bunch of spikes around the base again. Hopefully, they'll be able to find me. I feel like last time they had no problem just running over to my location and finding me. 10 seconds. It's time to take the coffee. Plug, lug. That does add in a... Look at all those buffs right now. And we got this, <laughs> this weapon. Um, hopefully, there won't be... Here we go. Let's see how it goes. I'm a little scared. Hello? Oh, they're sprinted. Oh, they're sprinted. Are they going to just immediately find their way up here? I left all the doors open. Hello, friends. Boom. <laughs> Wait, am I getting more experience? Oh, yeah, because it's night. And I get more experience during the night. 30. Let's see how many. Wait, by the way, how many do I have right now? 573 zombie kills. Let's see how many zombies show up during this blood moon. Oh, God. Uh, maybe already quite a bit. So I have my blood moon setting up to the maximum level, which is 64 zombies at once. Uh, this is a bit already crazy <laughs> hello friends just no stand i can just like hold down the smash and i never run out of stamina because every time i kill someone um i think they're destroying it i think they're destroying it let me open this one next one here we go uh they're gonna come through are you breaking that block come over here sir uh, i think they're making their way through that i saw one of them break so i was a little nervous Oh my god, there's so many of them. <laughs> this is, oh no, they're hitting me. It's ridiculous. Uh, how do you hit that far? Oh, because... Wait, you're through! Wait, how did you get through there? I didn't see that at all. What the fuck? Wait, what the hell? How did that happen? Okay, I'm bleeding. Just use one of these. Uh, this is a little crazier than I signed up for. Okay. Um. Hello, friends. <laughs> I mean, it is... <laughs> mostly working as long as the one of those crawlers so they can't go through one wide spaces as you can see right there they just need to be the crawler i don't i feel like he glitched through though 
And this is only the first wave, by the way. Did I kill that guy? They haven't destroyed the first thing yet. Is the... Hello, sir. I think I got him. Nope, he's still there. Dude, can you stop? You're annoying as fuck. Oh, no, there's a whole new group. Uh, there's dogs now, too? Uh-oh. <laughs> the dogs are gonna... Wait, wait a minute. I don't have, uh... I didn't reload it? How did I not... Oh, I guess it unloads. Okay, that does not work. Okay, the crawlers are gonna be the end of me. I need to get pipe bombs. So I can, uh, like, throw a pipe bomb over there every now and then to get rid of the crawlers. Uh, I am already level 31. Hey, doggy, could you please die? Okay, there's a crawler hitting the wall. Why are you doing that, sir? That's rude. Easy. Oh, no, there's still a pitch down there. Not anymore. I have barely taken any damage. I got a little bit of status effects. No. They're on fire. Stop it, sir. I think he exploded because of the fire. They might be destroying my walls. I'm not going out there. We also know that... Okay, they go into crawler mode when they see the one gap, huh? When they see the hole. How did you not... Sir... My armor is doing just fine. We haven't seen any new zombie types yet. I'm only using light attacks. I might, but I guess I could even use heavy attacks. Because my stamina... What? They destroyed the wall up top? There's just no way. Can I kill these dogs? Doggies, please. What are you guys doing? What did the walls ever do to you? Except keeping you in my... Okay, I'm, I'm running out of uh, hydration. Don't know if this is worth to do. I'm just going to let you guys destroy that while I drink some uh, nice water. <laughs> Take some time off from uh, smashing the zombie. Okay. I'll just be back here while you because you guys are going to break through that. I can't even reach that. I should save my stamina. All right. Could you speed up, everyone? Dude, imagine a pipe bomb here. That would be amazing. I should really... That's, that's a note to sell for next time get those pipe bombs okay i'm gonna have to smash i should just go for heavy attacks so i for sure one shot them uh the crawly bitches man how many freaking we get the no i i don't remember what i said it was 570 or something all right you guys really gotta go okay nice bye bye <laughs> they're still coming dude that never ends how many have we already fought? Already a hundred. That's it? We did it? <laughs> really? Are you sure about that? So it was pretty much... I was looking online and I could never find like a proper online calculator of how many zombies you're going to face based on your game stage. So either people in this community just freaking like don't give a heck. They're just like, I'm digging on all the zombies. I don't care how many exactly it's going to be. Or it's like way more complicated than like it's a really complicated formula. A level six club. That was it, right? I know from last time that if we leave the game and come back, the, the blood moon is going to replenish itself, which I should probably not do. But yeah, we didn't get much in terms of this. How many levels did we get? That was totally fine, by the way. I haven't even died this entire episode. I mean, the game has died 23 times, by the way. Fun fact. I know I pinned it in the comment down below, or I think I did. Um, I have crashed 23 times throughout recording this episode, which has been uh, very, very annoying. But it seems that I have now fixed it. Hopefully, maybe. Uh, so if you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. I've been having a ton of fun, even with the crashes, because that's why I've been playing through it, because I've just been having so much fun with this game, and I can't wait to go to a town. So let's see, what will be the plan for next time? Uh, we have done a lot. This was basically the whole episode, right? It was exploring this area. We had a really big or really close near-death encounter over here at the where there was suddenly a whole group of zombies running at me. Uh, we could go down the road and try and find a town somewhere, or maybe go this way and go into this area, but I think that area is even harder. Um, we could try and find a bookstore. I see something over there. Try and find a bookstore and get the 
the forge or the workstation so we can craft the workstation and craft a bicycle maybe doing that first would be good let me know suggest what you want to see me do in the comments down below um i think i might go there though i think that might be a good thing to do we are definitely surviving this one um and we should spend our skill points three skill points not as many as last time but we are now level 31 and we killed 100 zombies what do we go for next we've basically achieved our goal of becoming the absolute champion when it comes to smashing people we could start doing shotguns and crafting maybe better shotguns or going for i guess i should go for this so we can engineer advanced item oh i can't even do that i would have to go into intelligence uh maybe get some lock picking because i want to get uh can i see how do i get more books of the workstation workstations uh oh here Boost loot odds with advanced engineering and or lock picking. Alrighty, I'll take lock picking. Um, we have both. We have boosted the odds for this. Do I need intelligence level four all the way, man? Intelligence is a hard skill to boost. Alrighty, there we go. We have survived the blood moon. That was totally fine. Uh, just wanted to make sure that next episode we're not going to start with the same <laughs> craziness that we had this episode, and we'll just start comfy. We could also turn this into our permanent base. Can I pick this up? I hope can I even oh no I don't think I can pick this up maybe we'll have to stay here anyway there we got lots of time to think about that thank you guys so much for watching over on YouTube really hope you enjoyed it hope it wasn't too chaotic with all the crashes it was definitely the most chaotic video I've ever recorded for myself it's like consists of like I don't know 20 different recordings and some of them I had to scrap completely because like five minutes later I would crash again but I hope that the final video was a, was not as chaotic for you guys and was actually totally uh possible to follow at all Anyway, hope it was fun. Definitely for me. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the live streams, join us over at twitch.tv slash Or click the link in the description down below. Thanks so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.